Bang. After a slight standstill, Ross's power of distortion finally gained the upper hand, smashing the tail down into the sea and causing it to bleed. The Sea King suffered a big loss, but instead of fighting with Ross in fury, it hissed with great wisdom and went to the bottom of the sea and disappeared. Whiz. Ross fell back on the ship, controlling the ship to fall back to the surface. Leave this sea as soon as possible. I can still deal with this kind of Sea Kings. If we encounter one a few times larger, it will be very troublesome. Ross spoke quietly to Lafitte. He spent a lot of stamina in the hailstorm sea and now if he took the ship to the sky and sailed away from the sea, he might be too consumed to control what happened next. Lafitte nodded, he also knew the seriousness of the matter and immediately informed Robin and Law to turn the rudder and headed for the island that was previously planned. Like Combelt, this sea seems to be a paradise for the Sea Kings. From time to time, they can see a huge wave rising on the sea, which is a giant Sea King turning over. Underneath the ocean floor, there are huge black shadows, which make people astonished from time to time. If only Shirahoshi was here. Ross completely utilized his observation hockey and is ready to take the ship to the sky at any moment. At this time, he thinks of Shirahoshi and can't help but shake his head. After another period of sailing, a slightly blurred shadow appeared in the sea on the left side of the route, and some unstable waves appeared on the sea surface. Sea kings, no, there seems to be a ship. Lafitte stared at the sea over there, his eyes flashing with surprise. He could not help but take out his telescope and look at the distance over there, which was even more surprising. What's wrong? Law asked Lafitte. Lafitte's eyes twinkled as he said, Someone is fighting a sea king, but calling them people would be wrong, they are a little big, they should belong to the giant race. Their ship is like a snack to the sea king, which is about a kilometer in shape. It can be seen on the left side of the black hull, but it has a length of hundreds of meters, close to the medium sized sea king. Giant? Sea King? When Ross heard Lafitte's words, his eyes flashed a strange color. After a little thought, his eyes flashed and he said, Put the ship over and see what's going on over there. All right. Lafitte nodded and changed the course and sailed in the direction of the shadow. Although it is very dangerous to stay in this sea, Ross can fly to the sky with his ship at any time, even in the case of the particularly troublesome Sea King, it is always safe. Very soon, the shadows became clearer and clearer as a medium sized sea king, about 300 to 400 meters in size, was fighting against five giants on board a ship. To be exact, the giants accidentally drove their ship into the sea and suffered attacks from the sea king. Fortunately, the sea king is not a large sea king. Moreover, they are all giants and they have good strength and can fight against it. However, it's just a reluctant confrontation. The giants are all over 20 meters tall but there is still a big gap between them and the medium-sized Sea King. Even though they are giant fighters with great strength, they can only fight defensively. Harudan, that's not the way to go. We have to get out of here as soon as possible. The new giant's pirate's navigator Road attacked with his knife and cut a bloody hole in the skin of the Sea King and shouted at his captain Harudan next to him. Shipwright Stanson knocked on the Sea King's head with a giant club, but he was thrown back by the vibrations and fell into the distant sea. Damn road, why did you bring our ship to this ghastly place? Although the giants are brave and like fights, they are not likely to die with an apparently unstoppable sea king but they will be defeated. Besides, this is the sea. In case the ship is damaged, a few of them will be in trouble. But, even if they wanted to go, the sea king had been provoked and it was attacking constantly, defeating their attacks and then pulling out its tail in an attempt to destroy their ship. Harudan roared and punched, blocking the sea king's tail. His strength was the strongest of all, and he could still fight a little. However, the Sea King is a monster with two tails. The first tail was blocked by Harudan, while the second tail fell beside Harudan and hit the ship. This is bad. Hurry up. When the giants saw this, they were in a panic and tried to rush up to resist it, but it was too late. If the ship was destroyed, they would have to wonder with the wood in their arms. At this critical moment, a strange force burst out from a distance, making the surrounding air present a strange distortion shape turning it into the shape of a fist, with tens of meters of huge air fist ruthlessly slammed on the tail of the Sea King. Bang! This Sea King is obviously far smaller than the one Ross encountered before. Even if Ross hits it from a long distance away, it still caused cracks in the skin of the Sea King and blood was spilled. Roar! The Sea King, whose tail was hit hard, finally went a little crazy under the severe pain. 
Its other tail rolled violently and caught Harudan as it opened its terrible mouth and swallowed Harudan in one gulp. Harudan struggled to break free of the tail, but he was in mid-air and there was no way out of it. He fell into the mouth of the Sea King and was about to be shattered by the terrible teeth. And just then, a black shadow suddenly flashed past, leaving a remnant in the air at a very fast speed. It flashed like a sword in front of the head of the Sea King. Buzz. With a sword wrapped in the power of distortion, the Sea King's head was cut and unimpeded. With some shocking gaze from Harudan and others, the Sea King, which was hundreds of meters in shape, was cut in half stiffly from the middle. Strangely, there was no blood on the incision, but it was so smooth that it did not look like it had been cut by a sword but rather like a mass of rubber mud twisted into two sections from the middle. There seems to be something wrong with your root, giants. Ross floated in midair and looked at Harudan, who had fallen into the sea and splashed a wave and three other men and one woman, five giants in all. Speaking of this, the female giant is quite beautiful, just like the enlarged version of Nami and because of her larger size, Ross can see a lot of things from his point of view. If he remembers it correctly, these five people should be members of the Harudan giant pirates who have appeared in Dressrosa. Hmm, looking at the Sea King which was struggling after being split into two before stopping, Harudan wiped his face with seawater. After a moment of silence, he looked at Ross floating in the sky. Thank you for your assistance. The other giants also reacted and did not climb towards their ship but they smiled innocently and kindly, with undisguised gratitude in their eyes. If not for Ross, they would at least lose the ship even suffer serious injuries, and die at sea. Ross is a benefactor to the giants. You're welcome. Ross slightly smiled with an indescribable look in his deep eyes. He knows Harudan and several other giants, presumably, they are the five-man group of pirates, the new giant pirates that Harudan has formed. Compared with humans, the lifespan of giants is much longer, reaching hundreds of years and their character is really frank and militant. Almost every one of them is a fighter. Soon. Harudan and others climbed back onto the ship and Ross and Lafitte and others also came to the giant pirate ship of Harudan. This is shipwright Stanson, he is my idiot navigator Road, this one is our cook Goldberg and the beautiful ship Dr. Girth. Harudan introduced his crew and then went to Ross to perform a giant etiquette. My name is Harudan and I thank you for your help again. Call me Captain Ross, it's okay, no need to thank you. Ross smiled as he preferred the frank and brave nature of the giant race to the intriguing and conspiratorial nature of the human race. The only pity is that the giants are so big that they are equal to moving targets in the eyes of the strong people. But if it can be changed a little, it will be totally different. Goldberg, the chef of the new giant pirates, quickly produced barbecues and other dishes, as well as wines from his hometown Elbaf to entertain Ross and others. Although the meal is big and the portion is a little large, it tastes good. Hey, did you just enter the new world, the Ghost Hand Pirates, I seem to have heard of this name. Rode seems to be a bit overwhelmed, after drinking a few bowls of wine, he is a little drunk. The beautiful ship Dr. Girth looked at Rode's appearance and couldn't help but say, Idiot, Ghost Hand Pirates are the world famous pirates, didn't you see the newspaper two days ago? Although they are giants, they can read newspapers or anything with the help of a magnifying glass. As she said, she looked at Ross with respect and said, Captain Ross's hanging bounty has already reached a billion berries. They worshipped other giant captains who had sailed the sea and bought glory to the race of giants and even those warriors had a bounty of only 100 million berries. The formation of the new giant pirates is to reinvigorate the glory of the giants so that the name of the giant is once again spread throughout the world. Pooh! One billion berries? Rhodes sprayed a drink on Goldberg's face and he waked up from his slight drunkenness in an instant. He was now full of respect for Ross, who had defeated the Sea King in one move and now he has become somewhat revered character for him. The giants are a race that is extremely advocating for strength. When Ross and Lafitte and others were in the Fisherman's Island, they already knew the news of their new bounty so they showed no surprise. If you kill ten Ryubito and escape under the hands of a marine admiral, you will get a bounty of one billion berries. Captain Ross, let's drink together. After wiping the wine from the angry Goldberg's face, Rode lifted up a huge bowl, spoke to Ross in silence, and poured it down in a murmur. Ross did not refuse. He picked up the small bowl he had brought from his boat and took a sip. Anyway, Harudan picked up the wine bowl and looked at Ross. His aim is to restore the prestige of the giants. Ross is not only a benefactor who saved them, but he is also a powerful force with a bounty of one billion berries. 
If he joins the Ghost Hand Pirates, he will soon be able to restore his prestige. As a giant, even if there is a possibility that Ross will reject, he will not hide his thoughts, but just when he intends to speak out, Ross suddenly opens his mouth. What are your plans for the next step? If you want to reinvigorate the power of the giant race, why not join us? I will make you into an invincible giant regiment. Ross has already seen Haradan's thoughts. The giants are not good at concealing their emotions. They are almost always written on their faces. Treating the giants is not the same as treating human beings. They don't need to maintain absolute prestige, so he will ask them first to join him. The giants admire strength and grace and now they have the righteousness and strength. They don't need too much toss and even Lafitte's hypnosis is not needed. Harudin didn't expect Ross to offer an invitation, which is totally different from his request for membership. It fully demonstrates the importance Ross attaches to them. Almost without thinking about it, he immediately carried the wine bowl and said, I am willing to join. Although we only have five people now, we are all the bravest fighters of Elbaf. Sooner or later, one day, we will be famous in the world. Girth and Road and others showed their solemnity when they saw each other. They all held their bowls. Their attitudes were completely identical to their Captain Harudan. Ross's strength had completely conquered them. Ross puts the wine bowl in front of him and smiled slightly. Rest assured, that day will come soon when you are famous all over the world. As he spoke, Ross poured himself some wine and the spicy drink flowed all the way from his throat to his stomach, which seemed to ignite a bit of his blood. Harudan and others also drank the wine and officially joined the Ghost Hand Pirates as subordinates. Since you have become my subordinates, then, Ross put down the wine bowl and reached out in his pocket to feel a delicate devil fruit with a seemingly sandy surface. Logia Sand Sand Fruit This is a Logia Devil Fruit, Sand Sand Fruit, I think you should all know the power and value of a Logia Devil Fruit. Ross pinched the twig of the sand fruit and placed it in front of him, his eyes circumvented it, looking at Harudan and other giants. Although there is only one SND fruit right now, we will acquire other powerful devil fruits in the future, five giants with strong devil fruits, it will be enough to make the sea tremble. Looking at the fruit of sand in Ross's hands, Harudan and others showed some surprise, they didn't expect that Ross would give them a Logia devil fruit as soon as they joined. Logia's devil fruit, they are naturally aware of their value and power. No, we haven't done anything for Captain yet, instead, we were saved by Captain. Logia devil fruit is such a precious thing that you should use it. Harudan hesitated and didn't reach for it. Ross smiled and said, We are all devil fruit users and for those who joined us in the future, let's leave that to the future. It's better for one of you to use it or it will remain uselessly with me. As he said that, Ross placed the fruit of the sand on the floor in front of them. The huge size of the giants is the target, but if the giants get the power of Logia, it will be completely different, turning into a real sand giant, a giant of sand. In the face of such power, the vice giant admiral of the marine headquarters is nothing. Perhaps an existence like Doflamingo can resist it, but the following characters hardly have the possibility of resisting this giant regiment. What's more, giants can also learn armament hockey and kenbenshoku observation. By the way, Harudan, I don't recommend you to use this sand fruit, because there may be a stronger devil fruit, naturally. It's up to you to choose it. Ross reminded Harudan. He once had the intention of developing a dual devil fruit body and holding both the ability of thunder and distortion, but for him today, it's not worth spending five free talent points to acquire the dual devil fruit ability. After eating the thunder devil fruit, his speed will at most reach the same level as Kazaru and in terms of a purely offensive force, it may not be comparable to his power of distortion and thunder fruit is not powerful at the start and it still requires time to develop. After recruiting Harudan and others, Ross had plans to build war weapons like Thunder Giant, Sand Giant, and Metal Giant. This, Harudan carefully pinched the Sand Sand Fruit, which, although small enough for him to plug the gap of his teeth, it still gave him a very heavy feeling. This heavy feeling is called trust. Although he shouted to reinvigorate the power of the giants, Ross had no doubt that it was just a startup dream and he then gave them such a precious devil fruit as Sand Sand Fruit to actually realize that dream. It was a kind of trust that could be appreciated. Finally, Haradan's eyes were still shining and he bowed to Ross and said, Thank you, Captain Ross, for your trust. We the new giant pirates will never let you down. Ross smiled and said nothing. Lafitte, who sat next to him, looked at Harudan and other giants and then turned to Ross next to him, revealing a look of, hypnosis is not needed at all. 
After deciding to accept the sand sand fruit, Harudan no longer hesitated. The character of the giants has always been straight. After discussing with Girth and others, he finally gave the sand fruit to his navigator Rode and Rode became the giant of sand. With that little fruit of sand in his eyes, Rode opened his mouth and threw it into his mouth like a soybean. Gouda. The fruit of sand entered his stomach, and in a few seconds, a force surged through him, rapidly changing his body. His shoulders and hair, silently scattered into the sand and silently restored to its original state in the dust. My arm. Rode tried to stand up, but he accidentally turned his hands into sand that shattered and scattered around. He couldn't help exclaiming, but he quickly responded, which was due to his ability. As a giant warrior, his adaptability is good, and he quickly adapted to Sand Sand Fruit's ability, and because he is a giant, the power of Sand Fruit is not towards the withering and withered, but towards the pure power. With his original height of more than 20 meters, he has transformed into a huge sand figure of nearly 100 meters. The heavy strength contained under his one punch is enough to turn over the previous sea king in an instant. Ross exchanged a punch with him and couldn't help but praise his power. Devil fruit would not work if you were touched by seawater and it will be limited by sea stone. You should know all these points. Contact me on the Den Den Mushi and I will leave a Vivre card. It is a little small for you so don't lose it. Ross organizes trivia for the new giant pirates. The Den Den Mushi of new giants pirates is a really big Den Den Mushi. He doesn't know where they got such a giant snail came from but such a giant Den Den Mushi is a good thing. You can rest assured that if there is a battle, you can call us at any time, we will be waiting for your orders. Harudan and others opened their eyes to Ross. The giants never feared battle, and now they would like to fight for Ross right away. Ross nodded and jumped back and returned to his ship. At this time, both ships have left the Sea King infested sea and entered a relatively turbulent area. After Ross sorted out everything, he temporarily separated from the new giant pirates. He doesn't need their power yet and they are huge and too eye catching. Looking at the ship of new giant pirates, which was gradually getting away from his eyes, Ross stood in front of the deck, his eyes flashed as he whispered. I need to return to the Sky Island, and I need to tell CP9 to collect the intelligence on the metal and berries devil fruits. Just as Ross thought about it, the current at the bottom of the ship suddenly became ten times fierce, pushing the entire ship to accelerate rapidly and sail towards the distance. Ross looked back and frowned slightly, as he was trying to control the ship's flight, Lafitte, standing at the top of the sentry post, suddenly lowered the telescope. Captain, there is an island in front. Ross heard Lafitte's words and looked in the direction Lafitte looked at. As the current pushed the ship forward rapidly, a blurred shadow gradually appeared in that direction. But the current on the bottom of the ship was obviously not so obedient. As the shadow of the island became clear, a sudden sharp turn almost threw Robin and others out of the ship. Ross raised his foot and the power of distortion rushed out and covered the ship. Looking at the shadow of the island that has become clear, Ross said, Since we are already here, let's go. Icefield Island, West Bank. Ross and his party docked here. The weather on the island was very strange. The sea was still full of a spring breeze, but there was vast white snow on the island. Once they stepped on it, they finally felt the cold. In the New World, Logpose doesn't need that long to store magnetism. Most islands take only half a day, but they still need to go to the island. New World's climate is more strange than the first half of the Grand Line. Robin breathed out the mist, put on a white coat and a thick velvet cap and followed Ross out of the ship. It's still law that stayed on the ship and Ross, Robin, and Lafitte boarding the island. We will search the island, if there is no poneglyph stone or something of value, we will come to the ship after half a day. Ross also wore a brown fur coat, although his body was completely resistant to this cold, he did not want to make it too eye-catching. Lafitte nodded, after looking at the snow around with interest, he disappeared into the snow with his mahogany cane and he seemed to have some thoughts about the flying snow all over the sky. Ross and Robin went all the way and soon entered the island. The environment inside of the island is not the same as they imagined, it is not because of the cold and no one is going out, it is extremely lively. The people who live here are all muscular and strong and some people carry extremely thick logs on the street with one hand. Ross and Robin, even in their overcoats, were still slightly conspicuous among such crowds, so they moved a little closer to remote areas. Ross's eyes flickered slightly as they went deep into city town. He hadn't noticed before that there was a flag covered with ice and snow hanging over the city building in the center. 
the winter wind blew down the ice and snow on that flag and revealed the pattern behind it. It's a weird design like a bull's skull, but in this world, it's almost a banner that everyone knows, because it represents one of the Yonko, four emperors. Beast Pirate Domain. Ross stared at City Town and muttered, but still did not stop and continued to move and explore the island, even if it was the domain of the Beast Pirates, he will still explore the island. If there is anything good, then he will rob it, what about Yonko, four emperors, compared to the Marine Headquarters and the World Government, the Beast Pirates is a lot worse. Ross and Robin hid in the remote streets and soon explored the small town. Although it was small, it had a large population and the island produced a special kind of ice stone with high value, so there was a lot of wealth on the island. But now Ross is not interested in money. On a snow covered hillside, Robin reached out and gently pulled the snow from a crack, looking at the layers of stone in the crack, thinking about something. This island should have been formed in the last few hundred years and it does not seem to have been formed naturally, but because of some force. Really, Ross was slightly surprised, he didn't doubt Robin's words. Robin is an authentic archaeologist, but he couldn't imagine any power that can create an island. This kind of power is very different. There is only one small town, but the island is a medium-sized island, at least for the time being, he can't make such an island. While Robin was thinking, the Den Den Mushi on Ross suddenly sounded and when he answered it, Lafitte's voice came from the other side. Captain, I found, the ship of the beast pirates. Oh, what direction? Ross heard the words, his eyes slightly condensed as he asked. Lafitte was hiding in the snow at this time. The white cloak on him and the ice and snow were almost integrated. He couldn't see where he was. He looked at the ship of the beast pirates, which was docked at the shore while facing the Den Den Mushi. This is the east port. Got it. Ross nodded and hung up the Den Den Mushi. His original careless attitude has already become serious and his laziness has faded. He rushed towards Robin and said, Let's go to the East Coast port. Since he has encountered the ship of the Beast Pirates, how can he not take a look? If he encounters Hundred Beast Kaido, he will turn around and leave, but if it's any other, their high bounties would be beneficial to him and he may even get some R equals E good treasures. Ross slightly opened his mouth. Many of the world's forces have defined the Ghost Hand Pirates as the Mad Pirates and defined him as a madman who doesn't know what to fear. Since everyone is already calling him a madman, then looking for trouble with a Yonko, four emperors, must be a reasonable thing. Both the government and Marine are anxious to immediately arrest him and put him in impel down, so if he adds Hundred Beast Kaido to the list of people who want him dead or imprisoned, then it really doesn't matter to him. Icefield Island, East Coast. Keith. One of the subordinates of the three disasters of the Beast Pirates was putting his hands on his chest and standing in the snow not far from the shore, watching people on the Icefield Island bring boxes of treasure. Ice stone is a very valuable thing and this island has a natural ice stone mineral deposit vein, so naturally it will cause the greed of millions of people, but this is the territory of the Beast Pirates and no one dares to seize or do anything here and as a condition for this protection, the people of this island need to pay tribute to the Beast Pirates every six months. Although the amount of tribute is very large, it is still better compared to the situation where they will be madly robbed and killed by various pirate forces, so it is natural that they will pay tribute to the beast pirates to avoid the situation where they all get killed and robbed. It's a little less money this time. Keith, bare-shouldered and showing his strong brown muscles, walked slowly to several boxes, opened them, counted them and asked casually. The nearby Icefield town leader scratched his back awkwardly and said, I'm sorry, Lord Keith. Ice stone sales have been poor for some time recently. All right. Keith interrupted him and said impatiently, I don't need to hear these messy stories, I know, but if you dare to deceive us, you know what will happen. I wouldn't dare. The leader of Icefield Town bowed his head in fear. In this sea, the beast pirates are the pirates that can't be provoked, because of their Captain Hundred Beast Kaido of the beast pirates is a madman who has no fear of anything and he is virtually immortal. Maybe if you provoked Whitebeard, Akagami, red hair, and hid in the first half of the Grand Line or somewhere else, they wouldn't bother to pay attention to you, but if you provoked Kaido, even if they hid in the Marine Headquarters, Kaido would rush into the Marine Headquarters like a madman. So far, Kaido has done countless crazy things, but no matter whether it was Marines or other Yonko, four emperors, no one was able to kill him. The madman who can't be provoked. This is the definition given to the Hundred Beast Kaido and the Beast Pirates by the major forces at the sea. While Keith was leading his men to check the money from the Icefield town, 
Ross and Robin were standing in a direction not far away and the light shifted and distorted around them and the light in the area around 100 meters of them distorted and nobody noticed them. That is, one of the elite pirate from the Beast Pirates, Silver Ape, Keith with a bounty of 350 million berries. Robin looked at Keith, who was more than 3 meters tall and she recognized him. Any of the Yonko, Four Emperors, Pirates is basically composed of high-level pirates, elite pirates and a large number of lower-level members. High-level pirates in Whitebeard Pirates are Captain-class pirates in the top ranking, three disasters in the Beast Pirates and four generals in BIGMOM Pirates, offering a bounty of almost 800 berries. As for the elite pirates below them, their bounty varies, generally, from 200 million to 600 million berries. Any pirate with a bounty of less than 200 million berries are small captain or lower-level members. Pirates with less than 100 million berries bounty belong to the bottom. Naturally. Even the bottom members are still the official crew members of Yonko, Four Emperors, Pirates. The influence of Yonko, Four Emperors, Pirates is enormous. Besides the formal members, there are many non-members. Strictly speaking, these people are at the bottom of the bottom. Elite Pirate of Beast Pirates. Ross looked at Keith not far away with a glimmer in his eyes and he thought about whether he would encounter three disasters, but it was a bit of a fuss for three disasters to personally take the tribute. If you do something to him, Kaido will probably come after you. Robin stood beside him and whispered. She was too familiar with Ross's character that she could guess what Ross wanted to do just as Ross was familiar with her. Ross grinned and his eyes flashed with a bloody glow. He said, since killing Tenryubito, hasn't the world regarded us as mad pirates? In that case, it's not right to let the world down. Suspended bounty of 350 million berries. This level of the first kill, he has not yet taken. After his words fell, Ross stepped forward in the snow. Suddenly, his figure flashed and he traveled in a perfect parabola and came into midair, directly above Keith and others. Distortion, fist. Ross's right finger closed and the invisible power of distortion converged on his fist, turning into a near transparent faint halo and as he punched, it rushed downward. Distortion fruit is different in effect from tremor tremor fruit, gura gura no mi. The shock of tremor tremor fruit. Gura Gura no Mi is scattered in front as a whole, while the power of distortion can condense into a cylindrical chaotic attack. As for the split fruit, if it can awaken, it may form a line. Buzz. After the punch fell, the air instantly formed a weird distortion, like being baked by high temperature and flame and it fell head on towards Silver Ape, Keith directly below. Keith, as an elite pirate of the Beast Pirates with a bounty of 350 million berries, is naturally not an ordinary figure. Almost when Ross came over his head, he realized something was wrong and when Ross launched his attack, he was able to react. Roar. Zone Ape's fruit and ape-like ability were inspired by him in an instant and his entire figure suddenly turned into a silver-backed giant ape, with his arms folded in front of him in the roar and he also stimulated his thick and tenacious armament hockey. Ross's distortion fist hit him on both arms and there was an obvious pause, but Keith's sullen face was also suddenly overflowing with veins as he was under tremendous pressure. Ah! After a stalemate for about two seconds, the ice sheet under his feet couldn't stand it and it was completely broken which caused him to enter the underground by the hard punch of Ross. Pirates offering a bounty of 350 million berries are common in the new world but that did not mean that they are weak but they still won't be able to deal with the likes of Ross, the difference between their strength is completely different. Ross's current strength is at least at the level of the three disasters. As for who is stronger and who is weaker than them, he needs to fight them to know for sure. This, what happened? Keith was buried into the earth by something. Naturally, it caused a huge movement. It splashed a wave of snow that rushed in all directions. The beast pirates and the indigenous people of the icefield town were all shocked and turned pale seeing the attack and its following result and they retreated. And when the wind and snow dispersed, they saw Ross's figure fall from the sky and dive toward the hole. Somebody dared to do something to Lord Keith. Whether it is the indigenous people of the Icefield town or the members of the Beast Pirates and Keith's subordinates, they were stunned watching this scene. They are the members of the Beast Pirates. Keith is one of the smaller leaders in the Beast Pirates. Who's so daring to do something to Keith? Doesn't he know what the consequences will be? Who is it? There was an angry roar from the ape-shaped pit. Keith's ape-like body leapt violently and rushed out of the pit. There was a trace of blood on his mouth and anger in his eyes. But almost as soon as he jumped out of the pit, Ross dived down and punched him in the head with the same attack. 
Keith's face changed, but he could not avoid it in midair. He could only lay his arms on his chest again and stimulated his armament hockey to resist the coming attack. Once again, he was thrown into the pit and the ice burst. This time, the broken ice layer spreads in all directions, directly letting the area of tens of meters in a circle show the horrible cracks like a spider's web, causing countless people to be astonished. That, that guy seems to be, Ghost Hand Ross. At this time, someone finally recognized Ross. Although Ross was a newcomer to the New World, the news of the bounty of one billion berries and the killing of a Tenri Yubido has already spread throughout the New World. Some people have cold sweat on their foreheads and their eyes were filled with horror and fear. As the members of the Beast Pirates, they have always attacked others and no one has dared to attack them and only the people of other Yonko Pirates would attack them. Ross is the first one to attack them without being affiliated with any Yonko. Zone Fruit, its vitality and toughness are really strong. After two consecutive punches put Keith into the ice twice, Ross looked inside the pit and his observation hockey captured Keith's figure and he said in a calm voice. If it has been any other ordinary person without a devil fruit or a pirate with a paramecia then he would have been seriously injured by Ross's punch. Zone's devil fruit vitality, defense, and toughness are very high. Keith had resisted his attacks hard and only suffered some minor injuries. Bang! As the ice crumbled and broke, Keith's figure burst out of the crater and fell on the cracked ice, gasping violently. Looking at Ross, besides anger, his eyes also showed a trace of fear in them. He also recognized Ross's identity. But, this is not the reason why Ross attacked him. How long it has been since he was last attacked by anyone after joining the Beast Pirates? Keith's eyes flashed with anger and he said to Ross in an extremely cold voice, Ghost Hand Ross, do you know what you are doing? If he hadn't realized that he couldn't defeat Ross, he would not have talked nonsense to Ross and would have already killed him. Yes. Ross nodded and said calmly, I heard that beast pirates can't be provoked, so I want to provoke them. Keith. The indigenous people of Icefield Town and the members of the beast pirates are all in a state of dismay. They are all dumbfounded after hearing Ross's reason to attack. Just because the beast pirates can't be provoked, he came just to provoke them. This style of action is crazier than Jack the Drought. Distortion cut. Ross whispered and pulled out the happy spring from his waist and swung it at Keith. A distortion cut of about three feet long burst out like a crack in the void. Keith instinctively felt the threat. His legs pressed hard as he jumped up in an instant. He avoided Ross's cut and slammed towards Ross with a roar. Ape King Guns. This punch has brought Zone's fruit speed and strength to the utmost and he used his armament hockey to its limit. No matter his strength or control, he is far from those in the first half of the Grand Line and any newly started supernovas can't match him. Faced with Keith's punch, Ross's face remained unchanged, he used his sword to stab towards the coming enemy and the power of distortion condenses above the tip of the sword. Ching! Keith's black armament hockey, attached to his fist, collided with Ross's sword tip making a crisp sound and their movements froze for a second. After a second, Ross's sword tip pierced his armament hockey and penetrated into his fists. Feeling the pain coming from his fist, Keith did not stop, but gritted his teeth and continued to exert his strength into his fist. Ross's sword was like a needle to him in his silver ape form. Although it hurt a lot, the injury was not serious. Buzz. Happy spring is squeezed between the two forces, showing a curved posture. Interesting. Seeing that Keith trying to break his happy spring, Ross snorted, his left index finger pointed out and stabbed towards Keith's eyes and the two power of distortions ran like sword waves towards Keith. Keith's Kenbenshoku, observation, has already captured this attack, but his left fist is entangled with Ross and he cannot break away, so he can only swing his right arm to resist in a hurry. Sneer. Ross's two attacks of the power of distortion pierced Keith's right arm's armament hockey, leaving two bloody holes in his right arm. Meanwhile, Happy Spring also jabbed into his fist until only the handle remained outside. Ross retracted his left hand, his eyes were cold as the power of distortion erupted violently and poured into the hilt of Happy Spring and fired fiercely above Happy Spring's blade. Bang! Keith's fist, even though huge and covered with strong armament hockey couldn't resist the berserker's power and finally burst completely from the inside. Keith Sama Members of the Beast Pirates all looked a little shocked with horror in their hearts when they saw this scene. Although Ross has a bounty of one billion berries, he is only a newcomer to the New World and he got that monstrous bounty because he killed a Tenryubido. 
Keith is a Beast Pirates member with a bounty of 350 million berries on his head. He has fought in the New World for 10 years. All of his titles and his bounty are based on his strength. Now, less than a moment after these two met, one had won and one has lost and Keith's tragic defeat left them terrified and shocked. He, he shouldn't be this, Keith, whose arm was destroyed, roared and waved his legs in an attempt to fight back but he was kicked back by Ross and quickly put down. Keith flies out directly when he was kicked back by Ross and he smashes on the distant ice wall creating an inch deep cracks on it. His silver ape form also retreated and he regained his human form. He looked at Ross who was coming towards him with a calm face and no fear on his face. Crazy, lunatic, ignorant, Kaido-sama will not let you go. He had seen too many lawless supernovas and every single one of them thought that they had conquered the entire sea after they had conquered the first half of the Grand Line, but eventually, they all fell before the unshakable throne of the Yonko, four emperors. Ross, a supernova, though a little special and strong, is a little too far behind their Emperor Hundred Beast Kaido, and will certainly pay for his arrogance. I am looking forward to it, Ross calmly said as his sword pierced through Keith's throat. At the same time, the system synth sounds in his ear. Hanging bounty of 350 million berries, Silver Ape, Keith has been hunted and killed, receiving a reward of 100 talent proficiency points, one free talent point. With this one point free talent points, Ross finally accumulated three free talent points and he can now look forward to the distortion fruit reaching the 600 proficiency and him activating the distortion space ability. There is silence between heaven and the earth, only the sound of the winter wind whistling. Keith is dead. Killed by Ross. Whether it is the indigenous people of the Icefield town or the people of the Beast Pirates, they have never thought of such a situation. They did not expect to encounter the Ghost Hand Pirates. They did not expect the Ghost Hand Pirates to ignore the name of Hundred Beast Kaido and kill Keith. Crazy, madman, many people couldn't help but shudder at the thought of Hundred Beast Kaido's anger. Looking at Ross, who was calm from beginning to end and didn't seem to know what he had done, all the people of the Beast Pirates felt the muscles on their faces twitching constantly. People who have never seen Hundred Beast Kaido cannot imagine what kind of hell he can unleash. He is still as decisive as ever. That's really our captain, he he. Lafitte emerged from the snow far away and came with Robin, with a strange smile on his face. He had no fear of killing the Beast Pirate Sicadres. Maybe they would have retreated from the name of Yonko, four emperors, before but since they escaped twice from marine admirals, they already have the confidence that belongs to powerful pirates. What about Yonko, four emperors? They come to the new world and sooner or later they will flip a Yonko, four emperors. The rest of the beast pirates, Ross killed the ones with higher bounties and left a few more strong for Lafitte and Robin to practice, but they still killed every single one. Finally, with 100 proficiency points gained from Keith, Ross received 120 talent proficiency points, which is a huge reward. Other than that, no treasures were found on the Beast Pirate's ship, neither any named blade nor any devil fruit. Ross also thought about whether he could find a devil fruit he needed from the Beast Pirate's ship, but it seemed that all of his luck has been used on the Sabodi archipelago. After destroying the Beast Pirates, the log pose's magnetic force was already full. Ross and Lafitte and others returned to the ship and set off to leave the Icefield Island. Returning to his room, Ross called out the talent system's interface. After a little thought for a while, he bites his teeth and decisively put 100 talent proficiency points on the physical enhancement. His physical enhancement has reached 400 points and with this 100 points, he will reach the maximum value. Although this kind of distribution is a bit too biased towards physical fitness, it can increase his physical fitness to the limit and it may provide some unexpected effects. Buzz. In the Golden Sparkle, the proficiency bar of physical enhancement began to advance rapidly, from 400 to 420, 440, eventually, it reached 500 of maximum value. Agility enhancement. 260, top level strengthening. Physical enhancement. 500, maximum value. Spirit heart. 0, basic level strengthening. Tenacious. 50, mid level strengthening. At the same time that the general panels are changing. A huge heat flow is pouring out of Ross's heart and like a hot spring wrapping his whole body, it is making every cell of his body come alive as if breathing, they are being moistened and strengthened by the heat flow. A trace of pain, a trace of itching, a trace of pleasure. It seems as if a long time has passed and it seems that only a few seconds have passed. The feeling gradually faded from Ross's body. 
he stood up and walked to the mirror and looked at his body shape. There were no bulging muscles on his body, and there were few changes compared with before, but he could clearly feel the hardness of his skin. Ross pulled out Happy Spring and dropped it gently against his arm. He didn't use armament hockey and power of distortion, just a normal flat cut. Sneer. With the sharpness of Happy Spring, there is only a white mark on his skin and it can't break his skin. Although he didn't use too much power, he didn't use hockey to defend and he only used his body as a defense. Ross came to the cabinet, took out a gun and fired the gun at his palm. The bullet bounced off his skin at the moment it touched his palm, leaving no mark on his skin. His skin is not as hard as steel, but still looks like ordinary skin, but with the tenacious characteristics, like a layer of tough rubber, ordinary bullets can no longer penetrate his skin and ordinary knives and swords can be completely ignored. This means that the average sea stone bullet is almost ineffective on Ross. Because this is not something brought about by the ability of the fruit, it is the defensive character brought about by his simple constitution. And just as Ross judged what strength his body had reached, the sound of the system suddenly sounded from his ear. The host physical enhancement has reached the maximum value and received an additional bonus for the maximum value, all the physical branch talents, the proficiency is increased by 50 points. Upon hearing this sound, Ross finally showed a smile on his face. Really, physical enhancement, a major talent that reaches maximum value, has additional special rewards. Ross called the general interface of the talent system and when he looked closely, the data changed a lot. Agility Enhancement 260, Top Level Strengthening Physical Enhancement 500, Maximum Value Spirit Heart 0, Basic Level Strengthening Tenacious 100, High Level Strengthening Spirit Heart belongs to the Agility branch, so there is no change but Tenacious comes under the Physical Enhancement branch and has directly improved by 50 proficiency points and reached high level strengthening. At this moment, Ross also clearly felt that there was a heat flow in his body again, and his stamina and recovery abilities were boosted dramatically. Previous Ross encountered Marine Admiral and could barely support an escape at most. The three days of Aokiji and Florian Triangle Sea had actually been Ross's limit, and it was just an escape, not a positive battle. Aokiji and Akainu competed for the fleet admiral position on Punk Hazard and it took 10 days and 10 nights for a winner to be decided, showing the strong stamina of a marine admiral. Today, he is no longer inferior to them in the stamina department. Unfortunately, there is no talent that activates the other branches of physical enhancement, but looking at this reward, it should be applied to all branch talent of physical ability. Once activated, it will automatically increase by 50 points. Ross looked at the remaining three talent proficiency points with a little hesitation and eventually did not activate the other branches of physical enhancement. At present, his physical strength is enough, and it is not significant to improve physical enhancement branches. Besides, how many free talent points are needed to activate distortion space is not known. After raising the physical enhancement to maximum value with 100 talent proficiency points, Ross looked at the remaining 20 proficiency points and directly put them on the distortion fruit. Firearms shooting. 50 close combat fighting. 100. Distortion fruit. 530 soru of marines rokushiki. 0. Kami e. Paper drawing. Of marines rokushiki. 0. Marines rokushiki's gepo. Moonwalk. 0. Observation hockey. 100 armament hockey. 50 distortion fruits proficiency reached 530 points and Ross clearly felt that his power of distortions had improved a lot. If he had fought Keith with his present strength then he wouldn't have to make a third attack as his first two attacks would have been enough. He is finally getting closer to the strength of a Marine Admiral. Marine Admiral represents a peak, regardless of speed or strength, hockey, stamina, etc., they are all at a peak level that is limited by human potential. And the three disasters have powers similar to an Admiral or they are second only to an Admiral, or one or two of them are at Admiral's level, while the others are not as good as Marine Admiral. Such a presence can compete with Marine Admiral, but the odds of winning are low in the end. Ross is almost at the same level now. Power is, power, for pure physical power, and for Ross, it represents the strength of the power of distortion, which is still weaker than that of an Admiral. As for other aspects, except for Hockey's weakness, others are very close. When one or two abilities reach the level of a Marine Admiral then they have the qualification to fight against an Admiral and when all of their abilities reach the level of an Admiral, that is the real strength of Admiral. As for Yonko, Four Emperors, Ross personally believes that Yonko, Four Emperors, 
should be at the admiral level in all aspects with one of their ability being extremely prominent and that's the reason that they surpass any admiral with their strength. If Whitebeard is stronger than admiral in terms of power, Akagami, red hair, is better than admiral in terms of hockey, and hundred beast Kaido is stronger than them in terms of his physical body, marines can't do anything to them. The definition of the world's power has become very clear in front of Ross. Somewhere in the sea. The main ship of the beast pirates is sailing slowly on the sea. It's sunny and windy. There's no bad weather, but the atmosphere on the ship is very depressing. Keith, hundred beast Kaido sat on the deck with his knees in front of him and there was a bounty poster in front of him. It was the bounty poster of Ross and the bounty of one billion berries was clearly printed under the head. As the captain of the beast pirates, he has little clear memory of the bottom and lower members, but he still remembers the main members of the three disasters like Keith and others. Beside Kaido, many people of the beast pirates stood trembling and sweating. The atmosphere was oppressive and suffocating. Gurgle, gurgle, gurgle hundred beast Kaido lowered his face and remained silent for seconds. He picked up the bottle beside him and took a murmuring breath. No one dared speak during the whole process. Until Kaido put down the wine gourd, a person hidden in the darkness not far away, slowly sounded, the voice is very low and depressed, full of murderous as it said. Now that we have been provoked, even a billion super newcomer have to be buried at the bottom of the sea. Lord Kaido, let me go. He is the main figure of the beast pirates, one of the three major disasters. On the other side, Ross, coming out of the practice room, took a shower, went to the deck, sat down in a reclining chair and called to Robin, who was reading a book not far away. Robin still sat there in a concentrated reading position, her entire body motionless, but Ross was sitting in the reclining chair with a pile of arms, kneading Ross. Ross. When did this woman become so lazy? Just as Ross was going to tell Robin that massage needed her attention, the Den Den Mushi's voice suddenly rang from Robin's pocket. Oh. All the arms were turned into petals and Robin closed the book and took the Den Den Mushi out of her pocket. After receiving the call, Kaku's voice was heard from the other side. This is Kaku. Is there any new intelligence? Robin asked quietly. Kaku seemed to be avoiding something. His voice was very low. He said, Well, there have been many accidents. Now we are in danger, so I can only make a long story short. Listening to Kaku's words, Ross's eyes flickered slightly and he rose to Robin's side. Neither of them spoke, waiting for Kaku's narrative and report. We found the Paramisha medal attribute devil fruit. But when we discovered it, the fruit had been paid tribute to a Tenryubito and because of the urgent situation, we could only sneak into the Tenryubito's ship. We stole the metal attribute fruit and left the ship, but we were discovered by the CP0 members on board and are now being tracked by them. In Kaku's short sentences, Ross and Robin quickly learned what had happened. Kaku and others, in order not to let the metal attribute fruit be brought back to Holy Land by Tenryubito, chose to steal metal attribute fruit immediately but the Tenryubito on the ship was accompanied by CP0 escorts and they were discovered. Now they have the metal attribute fruit, but they are not opponents of CP0. They are being tracked by members of CP0. Once found, the metal attribute fruit will be taken back. What's your position? After Ross listened, he did not ask for more specific information but directly asked Kaku and others about their specific location. Kaku reported his exact location on a large island in North Blue, near Holy Land Marijoy called the Kingdom of Galila. I see. I'll be there soon. You try to delay the time. Ross responded with a sigh of relief. Since it is in North Blue and not far from Holy Land, it is not far from them and they can arrive faster. And there is a large island and it is still a country, as long as the people of CP9 can hide and play hide and seek with the people of CP0, he can catch up. Leave it to us. Kaku and others were all relieved to hear Ross coming at once. They are not afraid of delaying time, they are afraid that Ross will not come or because something can't be done. In that case, they can only rely on themselves to find a way to get out. It will be very difficult. After all, they are confronted with their former boss and intelligence department. The highest level of the organization, CP0. Captain, they'll be here soon, it's time for us and the CP0 guys to play a game. Kaku hangs up on the Den Den Mushi and looks at his companions, revealing a confident look. Today they are much better than they were when Ross defeated them. Jabra has mastered Kenban Shoku, Observation, and Armament Hockey. Others have mastered at least one type of hockey and they are confident in evading CP0 members. After all, 
Those two CP0 members are not captain, they're just ordinary members of CP0. On the other side, hanging up the Den Den Mushi, Ross called Lafitte and Law. Ross took out the map and placed it on the table. After a little research with Lafitte, he determined a route. Because he can take the ship to the sky, there is no need to circumvent the Com Belt, which is a Sea King settlement, so they can sail straight and reach the Galila Kingdom of North Blue. If the current and weather are smooth, it should take less than half a month to get there, if Ghost Shadow Ship was still there, seven days would have been enough. Lafitte shrugged when he mentioned the Ghost Shadow Ship. Listening to Lafitte, Ross murmured slightly, My power can control the current and keep it going for a long time. It won't take us more than ten days to reach our destination. Now his stamina has become very strong. Even if he takes a ship to and from Fishman Island, it will be more than enough. Distorting current for a long amount of time will naturally be no problem. Then, it shouldn't take us more than ten days. When Ross said that he was able to control the direction of the current for a long time, Lafitte responded instantly, he has taken into account the strange currents on the Grand Line when he mentioned fifteen days route before. After judging the approximate time, Ross and others did not stop and immediately turned their course towards the Galela Kingdom of North Blue. For the Metal Attribute Fruit, Ross must go there. Metal Attribute Fruit is a special paramecia. The body can be transformed into liquid metal. To some extent, it is even more suitable for giants than General Logia. With the Metal Attribute Fruit in his hand, he will then go to the Sky Island and he will be able to acquire the Rumble Rumble Fruit if there is no accident and with these Devil Fruits he will be able to create three big, elements, giants. In that case, the giant regiment he will build, even if it was initially formed, has a very strong fighting force. What's the Beast Corps, the Army of Nations, the Scientific Force? In front of such a regiment, all of them will be defeated. Holy Land Marijoy. In front of Tenryubido's mansion somewhere, a Tenryubido was furious. He was Miazgard's father and as his son was missing at the bottom of the sea, he was naturally very angry. What do the government and marine are doing? And you CP0, find my son. Yes, the government officials in front of him are all sweating. As for a few CP0's members, they lowered their faces and said, You should have Saint Miazgard Vivrakard. Please give it to us. We will find Saint Miazgard soon. Vivrakard, Miazgard's father frowned. He did have this kind of thing, or all Tenryubido had these kinds of things, but he basically never took it out and used it. After that, he forgot where he had left it. But he also knew the effect of this thing. Without this, he wouldn't be able to find his son and it would be like looking for a needle in a haystack. Although he was angry, he hummed and went into his house. Wait here. I will look for it. This, the government also has a preservation Vivre card there. If we can't find it, we can go to the government to get it. A government official bowed his head and spoke. Miazgard's father turned his head and screamed, What are you waiting for here then? Go and find it, you worthless dogs. Yes yes, government officials repeatedly responded and several CP0 members quickly left and disappeared into the streets. Over the comm belt. A ship is flying about 2 kilometers above the sea. Even if it's a super giant sea king, it can't touch most of the ship's body without rushing out of the sea, so it's basically safe. Calm Belt has a very wide range. In the past, it was difficult for Ross to fly over Calm Belt with a ship, but now it is no longer a problem. After flying for about three days, the ship left the Calm Belt and drove into the North Blue Sea. Ross controlled the ship into the sea. After a short break, the power of distortion ignited and the bottom of the ship was instantly distorted and the whole ship sailed toward the Gale Kingdom. At this time, it is no longer necessary to look for the location of CP9 and others. With their Vivre card, he can find Kaku and others more accurately. The Kingdom of Gale. On the roof of an abandoned building, in a slightly dark room, Kaku and others are dressing each other's wounds. Jabra's injury is the most serious among the people, but he has Zone's Devil Fruit, which is strong in endurance and tenacity so he can bear it. Next is Kaku, Kaku, and Jabra, who, when repeatedly found by CP0, make some fight planes against CP0 and then use Blue Nose Door Fruits to find a chance to escape. This process has lasted several times in these days. The members of CP0 are either selected from a young age and the talented people join directly after training, or they are promoted from the elite of CP1 to 9. Despite the fact that only two CPOs were chasing them and they were just ordinary members, they were still better than Kaku and Jabra and even if they joined forces, they could barely resist them. 
it's the third time that we've been discovered, did we really chose such a bad hiding place every time? No, it should be said that their searchability is too strong, after all, they are our top boss and they are also the most elite members and the predecessor of the CP9. Khalif addresses Jabra's wounds and replied, They have high self-confidence in what to sneak in, hide and track, but if they are faced with the top CP0 organization then it is quite different. In other words, we should remain vigilant and we can continue to resist the current situation. Kaku sat in the corner, wiped a trace of blood from the corner of his mouth with his finger, and said, It's been a week. We need to be ready for another week. Ross and others have arrived at New World and they are naturally well aware that the journey from the New World to Gale will take at least half a month, not to mention that Ghost Shadow ship is now gone and any other ship will slow them down. One week, Khalifa grinned bitterly. This week they have spent a lot of means to escape alive. They have no idea what to do next week to prevent repetitive means that will certainly not work in front of CP Zero's elite. Fortunately, there is the fruit of Bluno, otherwise we would have been done a long time ago. Jabra dressed his wound, but instead of worrying about it, he showed his smile. Bluno's door door fruit is the best way to escape, but the defect is that he did not develop the fruit enough and they cannot move a long distance. Otherwise, if they can move around from island to island then they wouldn't be afraid to be found. I will go out to get something to eat, the whole island is under martial law, but as long as I don't encounter CP0, there should be no problem. Khalifa took a deep breath and spoke quietly to the crowd. Now that Kaku and Jabra, their two major forces are low on stamina and are seriously injured, the mission to go out to find food naturally falls on her who is basically unharmed. I will go with you. Fukuro stood up. He only had a wound on his forehead and he was hardly hurt. The reason why he and Khalifa were least injured was that each time they went first because one was a woman and the other kept stolen metal attribute fruit. As he spoke, Fukuro took out a slightly glossy devil fruit that looked like metal and handed it to Kaku for protection. Good. Khalifa did not refuse. She could not take too many things alone. If she took too many things, it would not be easy to conceal and sneak in. If someone accompanied her, it would be much better to investigate and sneak in. The two left the hiding place and sneaked away toward the nearby streets. At this time, they can see the guards of the Gale Kingdom patrolling every other section of the street. The tribute to the Tenryubito was stolen. The people of the Gale Kingdom are naturally terrified, afraid of the anger of the Tenryubito, and they are doing their utmost to help CP0 search for the thief. But, for Khalifa and others, three or five ordinary guards are just like children who can be easily teased. As long as they do not encounter CP0, there is no problem. Khalifa and Fukuro quickly sneaked into a shop, stole a lot of food and water, and slipped out quietly, sneaking in the dark lanes and going to the gathering point. But, what neither of them noticed was that a pair of eyes appeared in the darkness, staring at them with a touch of coldness. Khalifa and Fukuro avoided patrols by guards and returned with food and water to the top of the abandoned building where they were hiding. Seeing Khalifa and Fukuro back, Jabra asked, Did you encounter any trouble? No, Kaku and other people nodded, took food and water and immediately began to eat, for them, food and water are still very important as they could restore some stamina. But, almost as soon as they ate half of it, Kaku suddenly had a bad feeling and his passive observation hockey caught something and he gave a subconscious roar. Get down! Jabra and Khalifa immediately bowed down in accordance with Kaku's voice. Almost instantly, a terrifying Rakanyaku, tempest kick, cut straight across and cut from one corner of the building to the other. The upper part of the entire abandoned building was cut into two sections by this Rankiaku, tempest kick. Bang long. The entire upper ceiling that was cut was smashed into the street below. Found you, CP9 traders. Two masked CP0 members, using Gepo, Moonwalk, appeared next to the cut-off building with a cold look on their faces, there wasn't even any killing intent on their faces, it was filled with emotionless indifference, indifference to the traitors must be erased. Damn it to hell, how did they found us so soon? Kaku looked at the two CP0 members and gritted his teeth in anger. The two members of CP0, one is tall and thin and he seems to be from the long-legged clan, the other one is shaped like an ordinary human being. The long-legged member overlooks Kaku and others and said indifferently. You have used the same hiding methods several times in a row, if we can't even find flaws in that, how can we be your boss? But your ability has indeed created a lot of trouble as this little game between us should have ended the next day. The other, ordinary human, member coldly said. The moment his voice fell, 
His eyes were shimmering with cold light and his middle index finger and ring finger were all bent and he threw a bullet-like attack at Kaku and others. The air turned into a whirlpool which took a shape of a bullet and burst out rapidly. Shigen, finger gun. Chaos. Knowing the power of this move, Kaku and others naturally dare not be careless. Jabra did not hesitate to turn over and drag his tired and injured body and barely used a Rankiaku, Tempest Kick, to face the coming attack. Rankiaku, Tempest Kick, collided with the Shigen, Finger Gun, in the air and burst in the air like a firecracker and at this time, the CP0 member attacked with his foot. Rankiaku, Tempest Kick, Storm. As a member of the Long-Legged Clan, the strength in his foot is much stronger than that of normal humans. His Rankiaku, Tempest Kick is also far stronger than Jabra as it directly transformed into 100 meter long sword energy and covered the whole abandoned building in an energy storm. Whiz! Whiz! When Kaku and others saw it, they had no plans to fight it head on and they stepped back. Rankiaku, Tempest Kick, Storm hit the abandoned building and instantly the building burst apart directly, causing numerous residents and soldiers of the Gale Kingdom to show shock and retreat toward the distance. Let's go, Air Door! After Bluno jumped down, he immediately came to Khalifa and Fukuro who had recollected the metal attribute fruit and opened a door in the air, ready to send them away first. But before Khalifa and Fukuro got in, a figure suddenly appeared next to Bluno, swaying and kicking fiercely. Bluno immediately used Tekai, Iron Body, and the immature version of Armament Hockey, but his shoulder blade was almost broken because of the kick and caused him to fly back. Fukuro tried to catch Bluno on the side, but he couldn't resist the impact and flew back with Bluno. I don't want to see it anymore, you escaped with that troublesome ability. The long-legged member of CP0 looked coldly at Bluno and immediately turned to look at Khalifa and said in a cold voice, From the moment you betrayed the government, you should have known what will happen, now say goodbye. Khalifa was frightened and turned back to try to escape but her speed was far less than that of the CP0 member and Kaku and Jabra were not there. Whiz! The long-legged CP0 member sweeps Khalifa with one foot. Even Bluno, who is good at Tekai, Iron Body, and can use an amateur version of Armament Hockey can't resist the other's move, let alone the one who is not at all good at it. She will undoubtedly die on the spot after being hit. Although Khalifa is good at the Observation Hockey, the other party as the member of CP0 will also use Kenbenshoku, Observation, and it is deeper than her, so she was only able to barely catch the attack and her face is somewhat white. Khalifa. Kaku and Jabra, who had no time to support her, shouted out. And just at that time, the earth suddenly shook with strange rhythm. The ground under the feet of the long-legged clan member suddenly protruded upward for a period of time. This is not the ending that everyone expected. As the was ground suddenly raised, the attack of the long-legged CP0 member shifted its direction and it was dangerously washed from the side of Khalifa and the wind generated from that cut her hair a few times. It can be seen that this attack was quite dangerous. Who? The attack of the long-legged CP0 member was disturbed by the raised earth. After he stabilized his body, he immediately gave a loud cry. They already know the ability of Khalifa and others and there is no one among them with an earth-related ability and the ground cannot be raised without the use of an ability, so that means that someone else was here. So was it fun dealing with my subordinates, CP0? Ross's figure stepped up from the end of the street and the disturbance that was just made was precisely what he had done at a critical moment. When he arrived at this island, he found that the Kaku's Vivra card had become unstable, which means that he was in a crisis, so he immediately rushed here at his full speed and he arrived at a critical moment. It's you? The long-legged CP0 member saw Ross's appearance and his pupils shrank sharply. He had made several guesses about the partners Khalifa and others had, but he had never thought it would be the ghost hand Ross. CP9 had dealt with Ghost Hand Ross before and was completely defeated by Ross. Even Lucci seemed to have died in Ross's hands. How could they possibly become Ross's subordinate? CP9's Kaku and others are professionally trained, and coercion has no effect on them. It is almost impossible to threaten their cooperation or subjugate them. Captain Ross, Kaku and others finally breathed a sigh of relief when Ross appeared, especially Khalifa, who had survived the attack gasped violently and regained a little blood on her pale face. Let's go. The long-legged CP0 member stared at Ross and took a decisive decision to retreat immediately. Ghost Hand Ross's strength is very clear to them. They need their chief and elite members to have the capital to arrest him. It is meaningless to fight him with just their strength. And 
Knowing the connection between the Ghost Hand Pirates and the CP9 party, they can also explain this failure to their superiors. Don't you think it's too late to leave now? Ross said in an indifferent voice and then he disappeared at the end of the street like a bubble. When he reappeared, he is already directly above the head of the long-legged CP0 member. What? The long-legged member showed a trace of horror. Faced with Ross's ruthless leg attack, he could not respond and he could only instinctively exerting his foot strength to the maximum and lift his legs violently. The two-legged collision occurred in the air and centering on the collision point, a burst of air suddenly bursts out and like a stone thrown in a calm lake, ripples spread in all directions. Bang long. Almost at the next moment, the ground beneath the CP0 member started to break apart creating a spider web pattern centered on the place where the long-legged member stood. It broke apart inch by inch as if it had been under the pressure of a mountain. It spread over 10 meters all the way and then the whole ground collapsed. The long-legged CP0 member couldn't even scream as his entire body was buried into the collapsed underground by Ross and the blood splattered. Another CP0 member saw this scene and his soul almost left his body out of fright, he and his companion, although not elites but are strong members and his companion couldn't even resist one attack from Ross. What a terrifying strength, escape, there is only one thought left in his heart. But as he wanted to escape, Kaku and Jabra surrounded him from left and right with cold looks on their faces. They're very happy to chase him. Now it is time for payback. Bang. Bang. The CP0 member made every effort to repel Kaku and Jabra, trying to break into the street to escape, but after being blocked, he completely lost any chance. Ross's figure flashed in front of him. Shigen, finger gun. His observation hockey caught Ross's figure and he gnashed his teeth and used Shigen, finger gun, at Ross's head, he was ready to die and he wanted Ross to die with him. However, Ross also pointed his finger at the coming Shigen, finger gun. Distortion. Boom. Two fingers collided in the air, as if two bullets collided together, instantly swinging a circle of ripples and the air presents a distortion shape. Almost in the next moment, the index finger of the CP0 member began to collapse from the fingertip and under the effect of the power of distortion, it turned into small round particles. Under Ross's distortion finger, the palm of his finger, together with the whole arm, were all connected by one finger, and the bones and flesh were all turned into rounded particles. CP9 Kaku and others watched this scene and all of them were shocked in their hearts and minds. In the past, Ross has defeated Luchi after a long battle head on but even Luchi could never beat CP0 members this easily. CP0 members are almost all proficient in the six styles of marine and hockey, the strength of these two people and the previous Luchi was also similar, but in front of current Ross, they couldn't even resist a single attack. Captain Ross's strength, I thought we had grown a lot stronger but it seems that Captain has jumped several levels and his strength has grown to a more terrifying level. After seeing Ross's strength, Kaku and other people's pride, which is caused by their strength, vanishes in a flash. After defeating the second CP0 member, Ross did not kill him immediately, but knocked him out and waited for Lafitte to come over and see if he could get some useful intelligence out of him before killing him. Only these two? Ross turned his head to look at Kaku and others. Kaku nodded and showed a slight embarrassment. It was a little shame that so many of them were defeated by two people of CP0 and almost got wiped out. If Ross and CP0 have a good battle with each other, then they wouldn't be so embarrassed but he directly defeated them and it looked like it took very small effort out of him to defeat them. Ross thought that there were many CP0 members here, but it turns out that there were only two and these two almost killed his intelligence team who had learned hockey. Ross went on to ask, what about that Tenryubito? Is he still on this island? Kaku shook his head and said, he left a few days ago, the Tenryubito didn't care much about a devil fruit and left the island leaving only these two to hunt us. Ross nodded and continued to ask, what about the metal attribute fruit? Here it is. Fukuro came up and took out a metal glossy, irregular shaped devil fruit, the Paramisha metal devil fruit. Ross took the metal attribute fruit and took a look at it and confirmed that there was little possibility of making a mistake about the shape and color. After measuring it, he pointed to Kaku and other. Well, you've done a good job. Despite being chased so badly by the CP0's members, it was the metal attribute fruit that was eventually acquired and the intelligence provided by them for a long time was very beneficial so Ross gave a good comment. When Kaku and others heard Ross, they were a bit embarrassed. How is your hockey practice going? Ross put the metal attribute fruit away and asked Kaku and others. 
Usually, the contacts between him and CP9 are all related to intelligence. Basically, he hasn't examined the practicing situation of CP9 members. Although CP9 is definitely not the main force of battle but as an intelligence department, it still needs to have a certain amount of strength. Kenban Shoku, Observation, and Armament Hockey are almost mastered by me, and Jabra is almost the same, Bluno only knows Armament Hockey and Khalifa is practicing Kenban Shoku, Observation, Fukuro only knows a little of both. Kaku reported the situation to Ross. Not everyone has mastered the two types of hockey, which is what Ross expects. For talented members such as Bluno and others, it is better to be proficient in a single type of hockey. There is no need to force something that they are not good at and they will all work together anyway and rarely would they act alone. Not bad. Ross nodded, his requirements for Kaku and others are not very high, Kaku and Jabra can reach the level of ordinary CP0 members, Khalifa and Bluno and others can reach the level of Kaku before. A moment later, Lafitte rushed over and tried to hypnotize and coerce the CP0 member but the result was a failure. Hypnosis was totally ineffective on CP0 members who were much stronger than Kaku and others and torture was also ineffective. Don't have wishful thinking, I won't say anything. The CP0 man sneered and said, don't think you can cross the sea unhindered. The power of the government is far beyond your imagination, Ghost Hand Ross, just wait till they show it, you will know what true despair is. I am looking forward to it. Ross's indifference said and seeing that he couldn't get any information out of this man, he showed no mercy. The power of distortion swayed, killing the CP0 member. It seems that because these two CP0 members are only ordinary members, he has not received any reward after they were killed. Ross gave a bad comment in his heart, but with the metal attribute fruit, this action is not meaningless. Next, you will come with me to the new world and focus on the intelligence of Don Quixote family members at the cadre level. Report back at any time you discover something new and continue to search for the barrier barrier fruit. After finishing, Ross directed Kaku and others to follow him. Gale Island's shore. Ross's ship was docked here. After killing the two members of CP0, Ross and Lafitte returned to the ship with the CP9. CP9 members have suffered some more or fewer injuries. Although they have been bandaged, they are treated by professional surgeon law on the ship so their healing process is much faster. You caught a Tenryubito? When they learned that Ross was holding a Tenryubito on board, Kaku and others were shocked. Although they knew Ross had killed a Tenryubito in Sabodi Archipelago, they did not expect a live one on board. Standing next to Ross, Khalifa put a finger on her chin while thinking something. As far as I know, every Tenryubito has a Viva card placed inside the government so that they can be rescued in time of the shipwreck. You caught him on Fishman Island and the government should have reacted by this time. She looked up at Ross and said that the government and Marine would probably find their place because of this Tenryubito. When Ross heard Khalifa's words, he immediately thought about it. Vivra card was something he had ignored before, but it was not so easy to locate someone precisely based on Vivra card. What should we do, Captain? Kill him now. Lafitte stood not far away and spread his hand at Ross. Ross thought for a while and said, It's not so easy to find people with Vivra card. Besides, we've been moving all this time. Next, we'll go to Sky Island. Captain is right. Vivra card can only provide direction, but it's not so easy if the direction is always changing, plus the impact of the current climate also changes things. Law was carrying the demon knife and leaning against the side of the cabin. A live Tenryubito has many uses and it will be too wasteful to kill him directly. Even if they threw him to one of the Yonko, four emperors. Even then it will be more useful than killing him directly. Yes, and this Tenryubito can also be used as bait, the government does not know who caught this Tenryubito. Ross's eyes flashed with cold light. Without knowing the specific intelligence, Tenryubito was like a bait that constantly attracted CP0 and Marine until Marines would found out that it was he who caught the Tenryubito. That's the first thing. By the way, Khalifa, you seem to have eaten bubble bubble fruit? Ross turned his head to look at Khalifa. The fruit should not be available to Khalifa for years, but Kaku and others have been looking for devil fruit recently and Ross has approved the free use of the fruit except for any logia and the metal or barrier devil fruit. Bubble bubble fruit, which Kaku and others would not use, naturally fell on the only woman, Khalifa. Yes. Khalifa pushed up her glasses on the bridge of her nose. Ross said thoughtfully, that's a good ability. After leaving the Gale Kingdom, 
Ross distortion took control of the ship's oblique flight to the sky and then he went into the bathroom to test the bubble bubble fruit's ability. Robin glanced at him and regained her gaze, high altitude. This is already a cloud-like area, except for the birds that can survive at high altitudes, there are only a few white clouds left. And in that cloud, there suddenly appeared a huge dark shadow, slowly moving in the sky, it was an island. Ross's distortion fruit still doesn't have enough power to make an entire island float in the sky. This is the power of Paramisha Float Float Fruit, whose owner is one of the legendary big pirate. Golden Lion Shaki. Almost got caught up in that storm. On the island, Golden Lion was standing on a hillside looking up at the sky. His face was very unhappy. What he feared most was the storm, which could easily cause problems on the island. While Golden Lion was worrying about the weather, a subordinate suddenly rushed over with a look of shock on his face. Shaki Sama, there's a ship flying in the sky, oh, that must be mine. Golden Lion subconsciously wanted to say that it is his own ship, but just when he finished the first half of the sentence, he realized that he did not control the ship flying in the sky. Golden Lion, slightly surprised, immediately asked for directions and his entire figure crossed an arc in the air and he quickly flew to the edge of the island, looking far away. Over there. Sure enough, between the clouds and mists, a ship could be seen flying diagonally towards the sky and Golden Lion was absolutely sure that it was not his ship. It's kind of interesting, gravity fruit? Or some other gravitational fruit. Golden Lion's eyes flashed an interesting look, as one of the legends that sailed in the peak times of Whitebeard, Roger, and others. A ship flying in the sky did not surprise him. There are many who had the ability to make a ship fly. But only his float float fruit can make an entire island eternally float in the sky. Whiz. After a little thought, Golden Lion still chased the ship up as the ability to control the ship's flight in the sky matched with his flying pirate's ship ability. If he could make that person into his subordinate, he could share a lot of things with him. On the other side, Golden Lion noticed the existence of the ship. Ross and others naturally discovered the island flying in the sky earlier. Lafitte and others were shocked. Even though they have been to the Sky Island, the Sky Island is a special cloud layer, which is quite different from the apparently floating island of the Earth in the air. This is the ability of float float fruit. Robin stared at the flying island in the air and spoke quietly. In her slightly distant memory, she had heard that a pirate could float an entire island in the sky and the name of that pirate has become a legend. Yes, Golden Lion Shiki's float float fruit. Ross stared at the floating island and his eyes flashed. Although Fujitora could also suspend a large number of ruins into the sky, it would be impossible to imagine that an entire island could float at 10,000 meters in the sky in an almost eternal way. When Ross mentioned the name of Golden Lion Shiki, the faces of the present people immediately change. The only person to have escaped from the Impel Down. An existence similar to Whitebeard and Roger before the Great Age of Pirates. A legendary character who once invaded the Marine Headquarters alone and fought Garp and Sengoku, destroying the Marine Headquarters by almost half and was finally defeated. Every single one of his deeds is earth-shattering. Looking at the floating island, Ross blinked and remained silent. Golden Lion's bounty was also very high. Although the bounty was eliminated after he got captured and put an impel down, he received another bounty after he escaped from the prison. Although it was not as high as before, it still reached 1.7 billion berries. A bounty of 1.7 billion. If he can defeat the golden lion then the proficiency points he will receive will be enough to make his strength improve by a lot, but the problem is that the strength of golden lion completely corresponds to this bounty. After encountering Luffy, his defeat made no sense to Ross and he wasn't mentioned but Golden Lion was able to break into the Marine Headquarters and fight Garp and Sengoku at their peak before getting defeated and imprisoned, but their fight still destroyed nearly half of the Marine Headquarters. Even if his legs were broken in the escape and his intelligence becomes abnormal, his strength will not have declined too much. At least it will remain at the level of a Marine Admiral. Not good. Ross meditated for a moment but still gave such an assessment that Golden Lion Shaki was not in his prey category for the time being. But just as Ross's ship continued to fly up and was about to be separated from Golden Lion's Island, a figure cut through the clouds and sped through. Somebody's coming. He's fast. Lafitte and others were aware of the rushing figure and they were instantly alert and almost the next moment, the figure crossed an arc and landed on the deck of the ship. Hello, ha ha ha, it's a great ability to fly a ship. Who's your captain, Golden Lion, who landed on the ship, grinned with his cigar in his mouth. 
Although he did not unleash his Haushoku Haki, he is a legendary pirate and his aura is very special and his momentum is also revealed in an instant and it got to a point where Kaku and others couldn't even breath properly. Looking at the uninvited golden lion, Ross stood there, his eyes calm. I'm the captain. I'm sorry there's no wine on board to entertain you, golden lion. Golden lion looked at Ross and slightly narrowed his eyes. Although he stayed in the sky, he was not ignorant of the current things at sea. Ross with a bounty of one billion berries was enough to enter his eyes. When he saw Ross, he recognized him. He thought it was a nameless person but he didn't think that it was a pirate with a little fame. It was undoubtedly an unexpected pleasure for him and his solicitation was even more intense and Ross can call out his title. It seems that he is also not ignorant. You are called Ghost Hand Ross, ha 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 ha, how about joining the Golden Lion Pirates? After Golden Lion stared at Ross and looked into his eyes, he suddenly smirked and showed his, raising one hand and making a fist in front of his body. He said, if you join me, the sea will be in our pockets sooner or later. Since he was imprisoned and impelled down, his old subordinates are all scattered and now only a few of them follow him, now in the state of loneliness, his subordinates are not battle ready. A pirate with the bounty of one billion berries, regardless of his strength or fame, is eligible to join his golden lion pirates and he can become a sharp sword in his hand. I really do want to control the sea, but, Ross opened his eyes calmly and even with the momentum of golden lion. There was no movement or change. I'm not interested in being someone else's man, he said. Hey. Hearing Ross's neat refusal, Golden Lion suddenly snorted and put down his fist. He slightly raised his head and said, Although I haven't paid much attention to the sea for a long time, I still know a little bit. Do you think you can beat those Yonko, four emperors, with your words? For Golden Lion, all the Yonko, four emperors, except Whitebeard who is from his generation, Others rose much later than he did and they naturally belonged to the younger generation in his eyes. How can I know if I don't try? Ross calmly responded. Golden Lion stared at Ross and suddenly looked up and laughed. A sound of, ha 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 ha, echoed in the clouds. Meanwhile, a rage of chaos erupted from the Golden Lion and burst out in all directions. Haushoku, hockey. Almost in an instant, the nearby clouds were severely affected as if the whirlpools are being stirred up and as if the sky and the earth were fading. This Haushoku Haki is not something that the likes of Don Chinjiao can compare. Fukuro and Khalifa fell down and are unconscious. Bluno is barely hanging on but his breathing is stagnant and his forehead is overflowing with cold sweat. As for Kaku Jabra and Robin, they are all under great pressure. Lafitte was the only one who could keep his expression fixed and Ross was still standing there with calm eyes. Haushoku Haki Feeling the subtle shock and oppression from the surface, Ross muttered in his heart, this is the second time he has experienced Haushoku Haki. Looking at Ross and others, Golden Lion gradually stopped laughing and his figure slowly floated up as he looked down at Ross. It's good to have such courage, but it's not enough, you don't have enough strength, it's just empty talk. Even Golden Lion himself is sure that he can't beat Whitebeard alone and he is naturally scornful towards Ross's arrogant attitude. Nevertheless, he knows very well the mentality of a newcomer like Ross, who has just risen up. It's normal to be arrogant for them who had just conquered the first half of the Grand Line. Only by realizing the difference between failure and the real strength can he curb that arrogance. Do you understand the gap, Ghost Hand Boy? He flew to a place about tens of meters away from the ship. His eyes became quiet and his legs were lifted up as he swept them violently. The famous swords that replaced his leg were suddenly burst with terrifying sword energy that cut towards the ship directly below him. This sword energy is much stronger than that of the Vice Admiral Ross met. The only thing that can match it in his impression is Hawkeye Mahawk, the world's strongest swordsman. Without a doubt, Golden Lion is also a swordsman standing with the top sword masters of the world. The purpose of this sword energy attack is not to destroy Ross and others, but just to destroy the ship. He is trying to make Ross feel the gap between the strong and let him surrender to him. But, subjection to the strong or something, such a mentality from the beginning, does not exist in Ross's mind, a person playing the game, will he submit to the NPC in the game? The answer is no. Whiz. Almost at the moment of Golden Lion's attack, Ross flew into the air, his eyes calm and indifferent and he punched the coming sword energy. With his power of distortion, he can't knead it into a ball but that doesn't prevent Ross from breaking it with his power. Bang! The huge golden sword energy collided with Ross's fist and as if a golden crescent was cutting steel quickly, 
golden lights were splashing around. For about a second, the two forces stalled and the huge golden sword energy could not maintain its perfect arc. Distortion broke in the middle, rubbed the sides and fell into the clouds below and cut a white cloud into two sections. Ross floats in the air and looks up at Golden Lion as he slowly retrieves his fist and his eyes are calm. Gaps are meant to be filled up. Pop! Golden Lion was surprised that Ross was able to block his attack, but he still snorted. The stronger Ross is, the more he wants him to become a part of his crew. He waved his legs again and kicked in the void one after another and instantly swept out seven or eight golden energy attack that falls down toward Ross like a gale of rainstorm. He is not holding back anymore. Although he intends to recruit Ross, battle is battle. If Ross is so easy to die, it means that Ross is not qualified to join his crew. Lion, thousand cuts. Golden Lion displayed his sword arts to the fullest. Even though he lost his legs and replaced his feet with two swords, the essence of the sword arts is embroidered to deep into his body and he still can attack with his full powers. Seven or eight golden sword energies rushed towards Ross. Whiz. Whiz. Ross unleashed his observation hockey and entered the spirit heart state. Every single sword energy is captured by his hockey. He controls the gravity and lifts his foot in the void. He danced like a wire and his figure flickers rapidly as he drilled into the net of sword energy and charged towards Golden Lion Shaki. He pulled back his right hand and punched out, Your Kendenshoku, observation, practice is good. Shiki's eyes glimmered and he didn't retreat while facing Ross's punch, his right foot jerked up and slammed down towards Ross. Bang! This sword instantly collided with Ross's fist that is wrapped in the power of distortion, the sharpness of the sword covers the power of distortion as it collided with Ross's fist. Ross's fist is covered with the hardened armament hockey and sparks are splashing around as he clashed against Golden Lion's sword. Bang! Golden Lion Shaki chopped off Ross's power of distortion, but could not completely block the power of distortion. Under the influence of the power of distortion, his face changed slightly, and his entire figure circled and flew backward. At the same time, Ross also flew backward under Golden Lion's sword and stopped about tens of meters away from his previous position. There was a slight blood stain on his right hand's fist surface, but it got scabbed and recovered in a moment. Besides, most surprisingly, Ross also had a trace of blood on his forehead, where he had no contact with Golden Lion's sword but he was still affected by Golden Lion's chop attack. In his memory, Rayleigh and Kazaru fought against each other on the Sabodi archipelago. Although his blade was blocked by Kazaru, the aftermath left a small wound on Kazaru's face, which is what happened here. Naturally, the wound on his forehead is very shallow and it recovered in the blink of an eye. With his tenacious talent, this small wound would not cause him any trouble. As this the sword arts of a swordsman, Ross touched the scabbed forehead and the scab fell off silently. He looked at Golden Lion with a slightly twinkling eye and said, it doesn't seem like much. Golden Lion's clothes and hair had obvious wrinkles under the influence of the power of distortion, but he was not injured, he snorted when he heard Ross's words. I'll let you know in a minute. Whiz! Golden Lion Shaki swooped down and flew towards Ross, swinging his legs and kicking at him. A terrifying sword energy, nearly a kilometer in length, cut through the sky and the clouds and fell. Chop! The coming attack did not cover the ship in its range and Ross did not confront it, he flashed and avoided the sword energy and rushed towards Shaki. Both figures are extremely dexterous, one wearing white, one wearing a yellow coat, flipping up and down in the air, like gods fighting in the clouds. From time to time, golden energy burst out and cut through the clouds. Ching. Ching. Ross and Shaki confronted each other. After several wounds appeared on his fists, Ross's eyes suddenly shone with a cold light. Light distortion suddenly burst into action. The empty space of tens of meters around him suddenly darkened and a strong light burst from his eyes and pierced into Shiki's eyes. Suddenly, Shaki closed his eyes involuntarily with pain. Ross seized the opportunity to appear in front of him in an instant and kicked out fiercely with his leg. Golden Lion Shaki was affected and had no time to swing his sword for his defense. He could only block this attack by laying his arms in front of him and defend with armament hockey. Bang! Shiki's hockey is similar to an admiral such as Aokiji. In the case of complete passive defense, Ross's power of distortion cannot be completely offset. He is hit by Ross's leg, and Shaki instantly fell towards the clouds below. Ross had almost figured out Golden Lion Shiki's strength by this time. Shiki was extremely flexible in air combat but not as fast as Kazaru. As for his hockey, 
it was similar to admirals such as Aokiji. The only outstanding things about him were his sword arts and Haushoku Haki. But, even if Golden Lion was a genius swordsman, losing both legs and replacing them with swords, the power of sword arts will be weakened and it is not much stronger than that of a marine admiral in the attack. The only thing that can't be measured is Haushoku Haki, Shiki's Haushoku has more or less an impact on Ross, but so far Golden Lion has not used it for a second time. Wiz. Golden Lion Shiki fell into the clouds and Ross did not hesitate to step into the air and catch up. This brat, thousand cuts. Golden Lion Shiki still can't open his eyes, but with his Kenbenshoku, observation, hockey, he has already captured Ross's actions. He coughed and kicked violently in the air. More than ten sword energies broke out from the clouds, interlaced into a big net and cut off towards Ross. The net not only enveloped Ross but it also included the hull of the ship far away in the attack area, forcing Ross to resist it. Bang! Ross opened the web of sword energy and Golden Lion Shiki's eyes were covered. His eyes showed a touch of anger as he rushed towards Ross. Originally, Shiki regarded Ross as a rising youngster of the younger generation. As a result, Shiki did not think that he would lose to a youngster. He was naturally a little annoyed and angry. Ching! Golden Lion chopped off with his sword, Ross avoided and counterattacked with his leg. Golden Lion's other leg swept horizontally and hit Ross's leg together. The power of distortion and sword energy collided again. Ross's trouser feet were cut instantly, and a blood mark appeared on his skin. I still can't resist, sensing that his armament hockey and the power of distortion still could not completely block Shiki's sword attack, Ross looked calm and after several feuds with Golden Lion, he whispered. Distortion Sonic Burst. It's hard for the same trick to work twice in front of the top powerhouses, but different tricks are different. Golden Lion didn't realize that Ross had so many strange tricks and he was caught off guard. His ears buzzed and his mind shook violently. Originally, he already had a problem of half of the rudder inserted in his head. At this time, he was attacked by a sonic attack by Ross, which immediately caused old injuries to resurface and for a time his entire mind went blank. Bang! Ross punched and the power of distortion slammed on the golden lion Shiki's chest. The intense pain made Shiki instinctively use armament hockey to resist the attack, but he still spat out a mouthful of blood and flew backward. Cough, cough, this bastard, Golden Lion was hit hard and although his eardrums were still ringing, he finally regained some consciousness, he kicked and swept without hesitation and produced several sword energies tangentially in front of him, blocking Ross's subsequent offensive attack. Shaki looked at Ross who broke through his sword energy and continued to rush in. Golden Lion Shiki's eyes showed a trace of blood and in such a situation, whether he or Ross, had already made their final decision and all kinds of recruitment ideas had been thrown behind his head. You are dead. Zanae, Shiki's feet swing fiercely and his sword arts were fully displayed by him, a cross-shaped golden sword energy shot towards Ross. Just as Ross evaded the sword energy, Shiki stormed down, swinging his two swords in tandem, launching a series of fierce attacks. Distortion Fist With his maximum values physical enhancement and the tenacious talent, even if his armament hockey is not strong enough, Ross is not afraid of Shiki's melee attack and facing hard blows of Golden Lion Shiki. But in the face-to-face -face tactics, Golden Lion Shiki suddenly burst out with powerful momentum and a violent Haushoku Haki fierce pressed on Ross. The Haushoku Haki, which forced Ross out of spirit heart, had a huge impact on his observation Haki. Ross's face changed. It's impossible that he alone is the only one who has tricks like distortion and sonic booms. Golden Lion Shiki's Haushoku Haki created the biggest trick and impacted Ross's Haki. When his observation Haki was seriously affected, Ross could not immediately recover and capture Golden Lion's actions, so he had to go all out to implement the power of distortion and hit the whole front area. Golden Lion suffered a lot of injuries when he was affected by both light and sonic booms. What would happen if he is seriously affected? Things are bound to get worse. A duel with a swordsman like Golden Lion Shaki is more dangerous than a fight with a marine admiral because in many cases, life and death and victory or defeat are almost instantaneous events. While releasing the power of distortion, Ross did not hesitate to whisper in his heart, system, activate a talent of General Branch, Rock. Rock. This is the second branch capability under General Department Physical Enhancement. If Tenacious's character is to greatly enhance stamina and resilience, then this rock talent greatly enhances the defensive capacity of the body. 
Since the physical enhancement has reached maximum value, the rock talent immediate activation with 50 proficiency points and reached mid-level strengthening state, which directly increases Ross's physical strength by a large margin. At the next moment, sneer, Golden Lion Shaki seized the opportunity and swept with a fierce sword attack which cut Ross's power of distortion directly and cut between Ross's chest and abdomen area by directly piercing his armament hockey, leaving a deep bloody mark on Ross's body instantly. If Ross had not temporarily activated the rock talent and the strength of his skin and flesh had been greatly enhanced, it would have been impossible to escape the fate of a broken stomach without being split in half. Faced with sword arts, life and death are almost instantaneous. Not good. Not far away from Ross on the ship, Law, Robin and others saw this scene and their faces change. Fighting in the sky with Golden Lion Shaki is unfair for Ross. Float Float Fruit's ability to float an object after touching it, which is almost eternal and unrestricted. And Ross has to control the ship so it would remain floating in the sky and it required a constant power to do so which is distracting to Ross. Trying to flirt, 30 profusely blooming flowers. Robin blinked and took a deep breath and she used her ability. Golden Lion Shaki, who was trying to continue his assault, suddenly had countless arms appear on his body, twisted and tightened him in an instant, curbing his next move and his reaction. The battle between Ross and Golden Lion, even a single detail can have a huge impact and Robin, who disregarded injury to herself, broke the game again in an instant. Bang! Ross's power of distortion hit Golden Lion Shaki fiercely causing Golden Lion to fly upside down again, bleeding into mist and falling towards the clouds. Although Robin quickly regained her ability which contained Golden Lion Shaki, she was still affected by Ross's power of distortion. Her flower flower fruit, Hannah Hannah no mi, arm, which was transformed into the body, was also affected. A pair of white and tender arms were instantly filled with bruises and redness. Room. Law took a look at Robin's injuries and directly transferred his medical box from the cabin with his ability and immediately began to treat Robin. Ross who is battling against Golden Lion Shaki has recovered his observation hockey. Naturally, he also perceived Robin's injuries. Anger flashed through his eyes and spirit heart start again and he rushed towards Golden Lion Shaki. His chest and abdomen were severely damaged and he was almost ripped open. He could only squeeze with the strength of his muscles and rely on tenacious talent to let flesh and blood grow slowly, which seriously affected his strength. However, Golden Lion Shaki is no better condition than him. His distortion fist is not so easy to bear, especially in the case just now. Robin forcibly intervened in battle at the expense of receiving injuries on her own, resulting in Shaki getting more serious injuries. Damn it! Golden Lion Shaki coughed violently. At least two ribs in his chest were broken and blood spilled from the corners of his mouth. Looking at Ross, his eyes also showed a trace of madness. For a pirate, especially for a big pirate like him who had encountered many life and death situations, he had fought legendary pirates like Roger and Whitebeard alone many times, but so far, no one was able to kill him. Bang! Bang! Golden Lion was hit hard and it seriously affected his strength. Every time he collided with Ross, the injuries on his body got worse and blood continued to spill from his mouth. Ross also got more and more injured in each confrontation and the wound on his chest and abdomen that just got healed after a little bit of granulation was torn again. This type of flesh and blood tear pain. No average person can stand it even for a few seconds without fainting. It's not good to go on like this, looking at the battle situation in the distance, Lafitte and other people showed anxiety on their faces. It was difficult for them to get involved in this kind of battle. Robin had the right to intervene because of the particularity of her ability and the consequence was that her arm was seriously injured and had to be treated for a long time. As for the others, even if Kaku and Jabra used Geppo, Moonwalk, to rush towards the battle, they would be rushing towards their death, they wouldn't even be able to resist Shiki's sword energy. And as for him, on the one hand, the power gap between him and Ross or Golden Lion Shiki is huge, on the other hand, Ross and Golden Lion's battle is too entangled and it is difficult for him to get involved. Robin's arm is now being treated by Law, the only one other than Robin who could intervene in the battle using his abilities and even then his room may not even work at this distance be available. Bang! Bang! As the air exploded, Ross and Golden Lion Shaki fought a bloody battle. Their thoughts had changed from an initial indifferent encounter to a bloody rage that threatened to kill each other. As their injuries worsened, it was hard to see who would fall first. A voice of Den Mushi came from Golden Lion. Peru 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 Peru, 
The voice of Den Den Mushi brought Ross and Golden Lion, both of whom were fighting, to a pause. Who, huh? Ross gasped violently and his eyes flashed as he judged the situation. Although the pain made it hard to think, he could still keep a little calm with spirit heart. If he continued to fight, both of them will be buried here no matter who will win. It is not worthwhile for him to continue fighting with Shaki. Golden Lion Shaki calmed down for a moment and reached the same conclusion as Ross. For him, it was unacceptable and ridiculous to fight against someone who is as strong as him and he is from the younger generation. He is the legendary pirate who once fought against Whitebeard and Roger, is his strength similar to a junior? Silence. Golden Lion Shaki reached into his arms and connected the Den Den Mushi in his pocket. As soon as Den Den Mushi got through, there came a very anxious voice. Shaki Sama, there's a storm in the south, please come back and transfer the island direction soon. Golden Lion repressed his anger and did not reply, instead, he stared at Ross in the distance. Two seconds later, he murmured, Ghost Boy, I remember you. I will also remember this and sooner or later I will defeat you, Golden Lion Shaki. Ross looked coldly at Shaki and it was unexpected that such a situation would happen. Especially, Robin who was seriously injured. The function of her arms was important for Robin. Even if she could recover, it would mean that Robin would be in a state of self-recovery for a long time to come. Golden Lion Shaki glanced coldly at Ross and his figure suddenly crossed an arc and flew toward the distant island, and controlled the island to move in the direction with no storm. At the same time, Ross glanced at Shaki indifferently and flew back to the ship. Law was ready and as soon as Ross returned to the ship, he came over and examined Ross's chest and abdomen wounds with a heavy face. Captain's vitality is amazing. This kind of continuous healing and tearing wound, if it was any other ordinary person, I am sure he or she would have died several times over. The examination revealed that Ross's wound was serious, but he was recovering slowly because of his strong vitality. Law breathed out and his eyes flashed. It seems that such a serious wound does not even need to be stitched. It only needs disinfection and dressing. It is also an incredible thing for him. However, he had already seen his captain's vitality before and he was not very shocked. While disinfecting Ross's wound, he took out a bandage and dressed it. Ross allowed Law to bandage his wounds while looking at Robin not far away, saying, How is Robin's hand? I've dealt with the congestion and the damaged part needs to be repaired. My ability can handle the details. Law quickly bandaged Ross's wound and responded quietly to Ross. For other doctors, it would be impossible for them to treat the arm affected by the power of distortions, but Law can use Surgeon Surgeon Fruit's special ability to completely decompose the whole arm, remove all congestion, and do a bit of processing then finally rejoined the arm. Law can treat Luffy's penetrating chest wounds so Robin's arm wounds can definitely be healed, but it will take a long time to recover completely. Robin has no tenacious talent and it will take at least a month or two for her to completely recover. Listening to Law, Ross nodded and went towards Robin not far away. You dare to attack at that moment, you are quite bold. Now Robin is sitting in a deck lounge chair, her arm has been temporarily separated by Law's surgeon surgeon fruit, but the pain cannot be separated or be transmitted. She did not show any painful expression and said with the usual calm manner, if anything happens to Captain, we would have all fallen down from here. On the one hand, this sentence is saying that losing the control of Ross, everyone will fall down to the blue sea together with the ship, on the other hand, it is saying that the status and achievements of the current ghost hand pirates are all tied to Ross. If anything happens to Ross, the bounty of a billion berries and their chance of becoming the next emperor will all disappear and they will fall back to blue sea not far from the throne of the sky. As for whether there is a third meaning, nobody knows, at least Ross can't see anything in Robin's manner. Ross looked at the table next to him and shook his head as he looked at the fully decomposed fingers, skin, flesh, and bones separated using the surgeon surgeon fruits, he put his hand gently on Robin's shoulder. Have a good rest, I'll ask Khalifa to take care of you. Under Ross's control, the ship soon flew over the White Sea. Three days have passed since the fight with Golden Lion Shaki, during which Law has been treating Robin's arm injuries almost continuously. Only his surgeon surgeon fruit can decompose and heal this serious distortion contusion from any section. Robin, who is temporarily unavailable to use both of her arms, lives with Khalifa for the time being. Khalifa takes care of her most of the time, and Ross often passes by. Robin's indifferent personality did not shame her when her hands were unusable and she needed to be fed. Only when Khalifa left and Ross helped her eat, 
did she show little feelings, but only a little. Other than that, bath and toilets are also handed over to Khalifa and nothing strange happened, which made Robin smile a little when nobody was around. That's almost all, in Law's medical room, Law is doing the final treatment for Robin's arm, which was in a tragic state before, and now they have almost recovered. Most of the flesh and bones have been reassembled by Law, because Surgeon Surgeon Fruit's ability is similar to the concept of space, and its nature is very special, any object that is cut and reassembled will be as seamless and perfect as before. So, the reconnection of the assembled bones and muscles is almost the same as before. You have been working hard. Ross is standing nearby, watching Law do the final healing and stitching work. His wounds have almost completely healed in three days. As for Robin, this is just the second step. In fact, reassembly is the most difficult part, because before, Law decomposed almost all the damaged areas into the limit that he can control. This is not a jigsaw puzzle. Every inch of flesh and bones should be restored to their original position without any deviation. It's nothing, this is my main job as a doctor. Once again, Law examined it carefully to make sure that there were no major problems. After closing the outer skin, two arms appeared on the operating table, which still looked bruised and swollen, but their interior was no longer in the same messy situation as before, which was impacted by the power of distortions. The three-day operation is over. After finishing the final work, Law's forehead also overflowed with cold sweat, this is the first time for him to exert his medical skills to the utmost. In this case, it would be fine to send for Robin. Ross looked at the two arms on the operating table and said, I am still not used to seeing this scene even though I have already seen your abilities many times. There is no trace of cutting on the arm, which is also the perfect feature of Surgeon Surgeon Fruit. As long as it is cut by Surgeon Surgeon Fruit's ability, there is no need for stitching at all, as long as it is cut by his abilities, it will be restored as before. Law took off his medical gloves and wiped the sweat on his forehead. Yes, but it's still necessary to wear a bandage. Follow-up recovery is also important. Some internal injuries can't be cured directly. It takes time. It should take one to two months. Let's go. Ross nodded and with one finger, the whole table was suspended in the air silently. Law brought medical kits and bandages and other items and followed Ross to Robin's and Khalifa's rooms. In the room, Khalifa, carrying a pot of tea, gently poured tea in a cup and handed it to Robin and said, Didn't you ever think about what would happen if your arm couldn't be cured? For your flower flower fruit, Hannah Hannah no am I. The hand should be the most important thing. Khalifa adjusted her glasses on her nose and her eyes flashed. Losing your hand means losing your ability. For a ship, it is equivalent to losing its function. Robin gently smiled and said, in that case, you can't think about so many things. As for what happened, it's already happened. It doesn't make sense to think too much, does it? Khalifa sighed softly. When she worked for the government, she had seen too many times how people were immediately and ruthlessly obliterated by the government. Especially for the intelligence staff, once they became obsolete, there was only one end, that is, to die. Robin's injury is very serious. Although Law is sure that it can be cured, there is still a chance that it couldn't be cured. You can see it really, he he he, Robin gently smiled, and there was a faint glow in her eyes. A long time ago, she would not have worried about such a problem, even in a dangerous situation, she would not choose to make a move, but would choose to protect herself and escape. When did it start, she recognized this crew and Ross as her captain. It wasn't when she first met Ross. At that time, she just wanted to change her hiding place. Just then, a knock came from the door. Khalifa put down her cup, went to the door, opened the latch, and admitted Ross and Law in. How do you feel? Ross walked in and came over to the table in front of Robin, using the Surgeon Surgeon Fruit's ability to divide the arms and shoulders and although they were in a separate state, even at a great distance, they were conscious. Robin sat there looking at Ross and smiled slightly and said, I am okay. Although the repair is basically completed, it has not yet been completely cured. Next, you should pay attention to not using your fruit power and try not to do any movements with your hands and arms. Law walked over with the medical kit and warned Robin. Soon, reattaching the arm after three days, there was no accident, but her arms hanging there with a bandage seemed very strange and affected Robin's beauty. After completing the medical work, Law reminded her a few more times, then left the room with the medical box and closed the door, leaving only Ross, Robin, and Khalifa. How long are you going to watch this messy look? After Law left, a moment later, Robin asks Ross next to her while looping her head. 
Ross touched his nose and laughed, you don't look so embarrassed, how are you feeling now? Much better than before. Robin responded as even Surgeon Surgeon Fruit's ability to separate her arms from her shoulders is quite odd for her, but she's also a flower flower fruit. Hannah Hannah no am I. User who can adapt to any situation, but in the end, she's more used to this. Ross nodded and went to the window and glanced at the white clouds outside the window. He said, we will reach Burka in a few days, we will stay there until you recover. Ross turned around and said, by the way, do you need to go to the toilet? I can help. Robin. In her heart, she silently retracted her previous evaluation of her own captain. Now. The world government's CP0 organization is in turmoil, starting with the inexplicable loss of two members in the North Blue Gale Kingdom as a result of the pursuit of the original CP9 traitor. This alone makes the government and CP0 very vigilant. CP9 knows many secrets of the government. Now it has not only betrayed the government but also seems to be associated with a powerful force that can kill two members of CP0. This is not good news. Other than that, about the Tenryubito Myasgard's Vivre card, it has also continuously shifted the direction in a short period of time and finally even began to slant upwards, pointing to the sky, so now CP0 took a few circles around some area and found nothing. And most importantly, the Vivre card pointed towards the direction of North Blue's Gale Kingdom, which may be coincidental, but if not coincidental, it shows that CP9 traders are in the company with those who secretly imprisoned Myasgard. The world government attaches great importance to this and has issued an order to rescue Myasgard, ensure the safety of Myasgard and demand that CP9 traders be eradicated as soon as possible. A few days later, Ross's ship arrived at the Sky Island Burka. Although it has been a long time since they visited here, Ross's influence is still here, as well as the deep hypnosis effect of Lafitte. In the palace in the center of Burka, the chief came out with a delicate wooden box, bowed to Ross, handed it over and said, we have found what you were looking for. Oh! Ross took the wooden box and gently opened it, a devil fruit with lightning ripples was lying in the middle of the wooden box. Logia rumble rumble fruit, one of the closest fruit with invincible abilities. He thought it would go through many twists and turns, but he didn't expect that it would be so easier to get it than he thought. His memory of the world is enough to grasp what the world is heading for. To be able to reach this point today is because of the existence of the system is on the one hand, and his grasp of the direction and context of the world is another aspect. Without Robin's intelligence, he would not have been able to hunt down pirates so quickly and smoothly. Without Lafitte as a navigator, he would have to spend a lot of time navigating and would have been much weaker than he is now. He might not have been able to get through Iokiji. It finally fell into my hands. Looking at this rumble rumble fruit, Ross muttered softly. If it had been before, he would have been very happy, but because of Robin's affair, he had no feeling of happiness or anything like that. He just accepted rumble rumble fruit plainly. Good job. After appreciating the chiefs and the priests, Ross stepped into the palace with Robin and others. This palace was built later, making the Sky Island Burka a stronghold similar to the base camp. With rumble rumble fruit from the chieftain and metal attribute fruit, the preliminary formation of the giant regiment is near at hand. Ross stayed at Burka for a week. After Robin's hands recovered a little, they left Burka and went to Blue Sea with Lafitte. After finding the giant pirates, they took five of them to Sky Island. For the five giants like Haruden, it was the first time that they had landed in the sky. In a huge courtyard with white island clouds, Haruden and five other giants were sitting there, while Ross was standing in front of them, putting two fruits in front of them. This is Logia Rumble Rumble Fruit, one of the strongest devil fruit, and Paramisha Metal Attribute Fruit, which is also very good devil fruit. Ross looked up at Haruden and others and said calmly, These two fruits are now given to you, and I will use your strength in the near future. Haruden and others looked at the two devil fruits and couldn't help but show some shock. Although Ross said before that it would soon be possible to find a stronger devil fruit to build the giant regiment, they didn't expect it to be so fast, and one of the fruits was Thunder Logia fruit. Self turning into lightning, a devil fruit which can control the lightning. There are no new crew members and you are the most suitable users. Ross, speaking calmly to Harudan and others, said, however, using these two devil fruits means that you will experience numerous cruel battles in the future. If you don't pay attention, you will probably die on the battlefield. It's up to you to decide whether you want to be a fighter or not. Kaku hasn't eaten a devil fruit yet, but people in CP9 are better suited for intelligence. If Rumble Rumble Fruit is used by Kaku, it means that Kaku will become the main battle force and board the ship, 
so that the already weak intelligence link will be weakened again. Besides, the price of eating these two fruits is that there will be countless bloody and cruel battles. Next, whether it's against Doflamingo or four emperors, they have to fight. Giants are all fearless fighters. Harudan looked at the two devil fruits, and after a few seconds of silence, he looked at Ross with a fearless look in his eyes. Will the giants admit that they are not soldiers? It's impossible. The status of a soldier is the glory of every giant. As for the cruel battle and the bloody battlefield, for a real fighter, it's not a bloody field, but a paradise. I swear in the name of Elbaf's fighter that I will sweep away all the enemies for you. Harudan did not refuse. He picked up Rumble Rumble Fruit, took the giant oath with great seriousness, and swallowed Rumble Rumble Fruit down. The giant race will strive to fulfill even ordinary promises. As for the oath, unless they are dead, they will always fight for him. Crack. After eating the Rumble Rumble Fruit, an electric arc started from Harudan's hair. The nearby Law and Stanson were forced to retreat to the distance. That lightning like light, from his head, began to spread all the way to his feet and eventually covered him in thunder and lightning and turned his body into a body of thunder. Thunder giant Harudan is born. Crack. Lightning continued to shine, wrapping Harudan and causing his huge body to fly up. His black hair has become a white thunderstorm as they flew up. Without knowing how long it took, Harudan gradually adapted to this power. He slowly dissipates the power of thunder and lightning and fell back. His fists fell to the ground, kneeling at Ross on one knee. Ross watched calmly. In the future, you will be one of the glories of Elbeth for hundreds of years to come, Thunder Giant Harudan. The remaining second metal attribute fruit eventually falls on Shipwright Stanson's head. As Shipwright, using metal attribute fruit is naturally more like a fish in the water. Gouda. After swallowing metal attribute fruit, Stanson's hair changed from black to silver gray and spread all the way to his roots. His skull had a metallic luster which spread all the way to his feet. Stanson's body quickly turned into a pool of liquid silver metal, scattered all over the ground, and then quickly coalesced. Stanson stood up, raised his arm, and turned one arm into a huge silver hammer, pointing to the sky. Metal Giant Stanson is born. This is the end. Thunder Giant Harudan, Metal Giant Stanson, and the Sand Giant Road have all been born. Among them, Road is already familiar with Sand Sand Fruit's ability. He is much better at using it than the previous user. He can even make solid armor out of sand that can withstand bullets and cannonballs. Thank you for your gift. Stanson's giant hammer of the wrist was restored to its original state. Like Harudan, Stanson performed the most solemn rituals of a giant race towards Ross. Ross nodded and said, The three fruits of thunder, metal, and sand are all very suitable for your giant's abilities. In the next period, I want you to stay in the Sky Island and exercise the abilities of these three fruits, and I'll teach you something else. I will obey your orders, the giants like Harudan echoed. Ross stood in his place, standing with his hands on his shoulders, and said gently, Well, let's start now, Goldberg and Gerth step back a little. Goldberg and Gerth nodded and retreated to the distance. As they retreated about 100 meters away, Ross raised his hands slowly and suddenly flashed into the air, punching Harudan. Battles are the best way to train. Especially for those with Logia and special Paramisha abilities like Harudan, they can't be hurt without the use of armament hockey, and Ross can use them as sandbags. The battle with Golden Lion Shaki made Ross feel a sense of crisis. Although he could escape from any admiral's hands, he can only escape. Any little accident could lead him into a huge crisis. Strength. He must continue to improve his strength. Until he can really be equal to an admiral or even beat an admiral. Bang! Ross's fist fell and Haradan's huge body broke into a thunder and lightning. Stanson and Rode were stunned, but they were both giants who had undergone countless battles. They were almost three times as old as Ross and they responded instantly. Captain, be careful! Stanson growled and manipulated the unskilled metal attribute fruit and suddenly his arm turned into a silver shining metal sword, which slammed towards Ross. The strength of the metal produced by metal attribute fruit is related to the body and as a giant whose body is much stronger than that of ordinary human beings, the metal produced by using this fruit is naturally extremely hard. Kacha. Ross punched with his backhand and the power of distortion burst out. The metal sword was stiff in the air for a second, which resulted in dense cracks and it finally broke apart. Rode was hesitating in joining hands with Stanson and Harudan. He saw Ross break Stanson's metal sword by his punch. At the moment, he shouted loudly. 
His entire body expanded instantly from a giant 30 meters high to a terrifying shape nearly 50 meters high. The sands were flying all over the sky, and in his body, they condensed into horrible armor of sand, he looked like an enlarged version of Road. Road's hands were empty and the sand condensed and turned into a huge spear of sand. With a shout, he threw it towards Ross. Ross's face remained unchanged and he replies with a backhand punch. Bang! The power of distortion is fully unleashed and Rhodes' sand spear is broken. Just then, a thunderbolt suddenly swept from one side as Haradan's body turned into a flash of thunder and he punched Ross at an almost unbelievable speed and the thunder roared. Ross's observation hockey is operating at full efficiency and he had already entered the spirit heart state, but his brows are still wrinkled as he can't evade this attack. Rumble rumble fruit is the same as glint glint fruit in terms of speed. It allows speed to reach the upper limit of consciousness directly. But unlike Kazaru, Harudan is a giant. His punch is not only fast but also covers a large area. Even when he perceives the trajectory, it is difficult to avoid it. Bang! Among the three devil fruits, the thunder fruit is still the strongest. Even if Harudan had just got rumble rumble fruit, the lightning punches were continually intertwined with Ross's power of distortion in the air. Ross's eyes flashed violently. The power of distortion erupted and defeated Haradan's fist, Ross grabbed the thunder and lightning with both hands. Crack! The sky thunder net was pulled by the power of distortion and instantly turned into a distortion thunderball in his palm. It was held by his right hand in one hand and he pressed it directly to metal giant Stanson. Metal should be restrained by thunder and lightning, but thunder and lightning cannot cause any real damage to Stanson, it will just paralyze his body for a moment. The giant of sand, once again, Rode made a bold move. He grasped a huge yellow sand blade with both hands and swung at Ross. The whole cloud burst all the way in an instant and was torn open and it created a huge crack. Compared with the other two, he has the sand sand fruit for some time now and as a giant fighter, he naturally keeps developing his capabilities. Not bad. Seeing the power of this attack, Ross nodded slightly, he kicked out and stepped on the crack in the yellow sand that had broken down all the way. The power of distortion broke out, instantly curbing its tear. Stanson saw the situation, his arm turned into a huge blade and once again he swept it towards Ross. Crack! Harudan rushed over again and he imitated Rode as he held his hands high and the thunderbolts broke up all over the sky, turning into a thunder axe, which he held in his hand and threw it towards Ross. In an instant, thick lightning covered the entire courtyard instantly, due to the inaccurate control of Harudan. Even girth was covered in the attack. Zizi. The thunder and lightning had an impact on Stanson. Because of the conductivity of the metal, the thunder was attached to Stanson's metal sword and it cut down irresistibly against Ross. Ross folded his arms on his chest and they were surrounded by dark armament hockey as he resisted Stanson's sword, while the power of distortion was stretched out, blocking thunderstorms from the sky. The thunder and the metal's full blow, even he had to fight while giving his all. It seems that you've all adapted well. Zizi, Harudan scattered the thunder and lightning because Girth and Goldberg were also shrouded in the range and were electrified by his thunder and lightning, but both of them were powerful giants and only suffered some small injuries and their hairs got erected. Ross also dispersed to the power of distortion and he stood in the field looking at Harudan and the other three giants, and said calmly, these three fruits, either Logia or Paramisha comes with a special constitution. The Paramisha fruit have the ability of elements similar to Logia. However, even with the elementalization of Logia, there is still a weakness, that is, armament hockey which can negate the elementalization and directly attack your physical body and I did not use hockey just now. When they heard Ross, Harudan and others were all looking at each other. Ross watched as Girth and Goldberg had retreated farther, he stood in the field and looked up at Harudan and others. He said gently, Next, I will use hockey. Harudan and others took a deep breath and showed a sense of war. They did not show any fear. As giants, there was no fear at all. Whiz! Ross's figure suddenly flashed into midair and he raised his hand and punched Road. Road has not dissipated the armor of the sand. Under Ross's fist, the armor of sand outside his body cracked inch by inch by the power of armament hockeys and the power of distortion and caused him to fly out. However, despite being flying out by Ross's punch, the armor of sand offsets most of the damage, and the giant's physique is much stronger than that of ordinary people. This punch is like a punch thrown in a fight between two ordinary people, although the punch is painful but it does not have a strong effect. 
And more importantly, for Logia users, this armor of sand can be regenerated indefinitely. Logia has the ability to elementize. Flexibility is a development direction, but corresponding to it, the ability to manufacture and control the element indefinitely can also be developed in another direction, that's pure power. It seems that you have found a way to deal with hockey users. Ross thought Rhodes' armor of sand was interesting before, but now it looks more and more interesting. Even if the enemy can break his armor of sand by using armament hockey, he can regenerate it indefinitely with only one thought. Unless it's a very strong attack that can destroy the armor of sand at the same time, and severely injure his tough body, it wouldn't mean much to him. Ross had just punched using 60% of his power and Rode only flew back without any serious injuries to his body. If Rode continued to develop this fruit and then enhanced some of the strength and the defense of the armor of the sand, even the existence at the level of Doflamingo would be hard pressed to take him down in a short time. Whiz! Ross's figure flashed again as he charges towards the metal giant Stanson and he volleyed a series of punches on his body without giving Stanson any time to react. Stanson growled in the silver colored metal surge, turning into a steel shield, blocking him. Ross's remote power of distortion hit the extremely heavy steel shield and broke it. Roar! Harudan didn't wait passively and after Ross punched Stanson, he roared and the Rumble Rumble Fruit's ability broke out. The whole area was like a thundering sea. The thunder and lightning surged in this area, covering the area of hundreds of meters in a circle. Faced with Harudan's wide-ranging indiscriminate attack, Ross blinked and stretched the wall of distortion, prevented thunder and lightning from invading his body as he rushed toward Harudan. Ross wonders whether the Rumble Rumble Fruit is the reason for this tremendous increase in perception, or whether Harudan is better than others in that area as he perceives Ross's movement and when Ross punched him, he also punched back at the same time. Crack. The thunder gathered in the sky and turned into a thunderstorm dragon. It hit Ross and the thunder and the power of distortion collided in the air, and finally the burst apart. The thunder and lightning filled the area, showing Ross's figure in the air. At this time, Ross still maintained a punching posture, he slowly recovered his fist and gave a sigh of relief. Not bad, he did not intend to exert all his efforts just now, but the power of thunder was still strong enough to almost break through his wall of distortion. So he had to break out with all the power of distortion, which completely annihilated the thundering current in the void. Seeing that Harudan and others still want to continue, Ross waved his hand to stop the three. That's about it for now. Next, you will practice each other. If you are free, I will teach all of you the use of hockey. Even Kung Fu Dugongs can use armament hockey. The giants are naturally even better than human at using it. Hockey is the potential of all life in this world. Ross speculated. Harudan with Rumble Rumble Fruit will be very good at Kenbenshoku, observation, hockey, while Metal Giant Stanson will mostly be good at armament hockey. After learning to combine his armament hockey with metal, his attack and defense will probably surge to an amazing degree. As for Rode with his armor of sand, it means he has explored himself as more important than hockey. If he can make a giant soldier of sand hundreds of meters in shape then he will be very strong, hockey is meaningless in the face of absolute strength and shape. Quickly, Rode and Stanson are fighting in this huge courtyard, while Ross teaches Harudan the details and practices of observation hockey. Ross used the light distortion's ability to close Harudan's vision and then he launched attacks on him from every direction in the dark allowing Harudan to sense and dodge. This way, wrong. Bang. This time it's on the top of the head, your reaction is slow. Bang. Since Harudan is a thunder giant, as long as his opponent doesn't use armament hockey, they will not be able to defeat him, so Ross is training him on Kenbenshoku, observation, hockey and uses Harudan as a fixed sandbag, constantly punching him. Before Ross's understanding of Kenbenshoku, observation, was not deep enough. It was even worse than that of Sky Islanders, and teaching Robin the practice methods of Kenbenshoku, observation, was too slow. Now, his observation hockey is not weak even from the standards of the New World. His understanding of the Kenbenshoku, observation, is far from being comparable but many details can be easily pointed out. Also, Rumble Rumble Fruit, a devil fruit, does have a special bonus towards the Kenbenshoku, observation. Like Enel whose Kenbenshoku, observation, Hockey can cover an entire island. Normal people can't do it at all. Under the special edition of Rumble Rumble Fruit, Harudan is learning very fast. In just seven days, he found some tricks, and ten days later, he could initially use observation hockey, which was very weak, while Ross began to speed up the attack and continue to improve the difficulty. 
What is the concept of a giant with rumble rumble fruit? Or in other words, what is the effect of a giant with a faster speed than humans and at the same time the giant has observation hockey, an extremely powerful attack power, and abnormal metamorphosis? The answer is that he is becoming more and more powerful and in getting more tune with his powers, just like the real Thor. Rumble Rumble Fruit is indeed stronger than sand and metal fruits and it has more than one advantage. If Ross isn't short for free talent points, he would be willing to trade five free talent points for the ability to eat another devil fruit. According to the current acquisition rate of the free talent points, he has to make a choice between the use of double devil fruit and the ability of distortion space and time. In Ross's view, the branching ability of space and time is more valuable. What's more, with five free talent points, he can activate more powerful branching capabilities. Just like the large scale Kenbenshoku, observation, feature, it is not exclusive to Rumble Rumble Fruit. It also has a corresponding talent in the talent system. It is the talent, Void, under the agility branch, which only consumes one free talent point. Naturally, Ross doesn't think this ability has any strong effect. He doesn't have the hobby of observing all the beautiful girls on an island at the same time. Half a month later, on the training ground, Harudan is confronting Rode fiercely. The thunder has little restraint on the sand. Moreover, Rode's sand armor is strong enough and can be regenerated indefinitely. It is a big battle with Harudan. However, Harudan's ruble rumble fruit is still stronger after all. Every punch and every move makes Rode extremely depressed. Especially when Harudan manufactures his thunder axe or thunder hammer, Rode's sand armor can be destroyed in a flash by those things. On the other side, Ross was standing there, with armed armament hockey on his arms as he continues to punch the metal shield in front of him that Stanson lifted. Bang! 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 Under Ross's successive punches, the metal shield kept ringing with loud bang sounds. While exercising Stanson's armament hockey, Ross is also exercising his own armament hockey. He has become a little weaker in terms of armament hockey and now that is dragging him back a little. Although armament hockey's weakness is not very obvious with the powerful support of the distortion fruit, it is still there. Any detail weakness may be the key to success or failure when it comes to dealing with a top power like a marine admiral. Your hockey is too messy. Bang. Gather up and focus on it. Bang. Ross continues to punch on the shield and scattered hockey, which Stanson had gathered together, while Stanson had sweat stains on his forehead, which made it difficult to control hockey's convergence on the shield. Giants are stronger than humans. They also have a distinct advantage when practicing hockey, but it also raises another problem, that is, they're too big and armament hockey is more difficult to control for them. All in all, it's not much different from human practice.